Are we up? We are good. <clears throat> uh, all right. Let's get this week over with. So Whitney's coming in, I think, in about 15 minutes or so. Sounds I believe. Good. Yeah, I spoke to him this morning. So, <clears throat> Or text with him this morning. Got him, is, off, got him off the golf course? Was he playing golf? I don't know. Just figured. Uh, okay, you can save that banter for him. Okay, I don't even know what you're talking about. What, what's what's what, what do, we, do you have any voicemails to play, Dave? Uh, I don't. I'll, I'll have a prank call later, but I, I don't mean, have. A, yeah. I mean, what, 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 you know, what are we doing? We're begging well, for voicemails? Here? Well, first of all, you approved it. Did you say there's going to be a, a number where you would send voicemails? Uh, you saw it. It said okay, voice, I'm, I'm voice sure messages. I'm sure I didn't see it. No. Well, first of all, I was not thinking the whiner line. I don't you care know about that. that. You I don't know care that. about that. Wait, people are going to leave wacky voicemails? No, the people can leave whatever they want to leave. Like what? Anything. Audio, video, pictures, whatever. How are you going to leave a video voicemail? Yeah, on your phone. The whole right. thing is on your phone, right. and then you just click that button, and you can submit whatever you want. Okay. So your problem is probably with the wording I no, of a I tweet. Have, I don't have any problem with it. I don't really care, but it's going to add nothing to the show. Not a thing, other than this conversation. Yeah, but, anything. It, but if you see the content... No, you're right. I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to decide what makes the show. So I never would have played it. So what do we it. have so far from that number? Uh, nothing. So I, got a nothing. Couple I got a couple dick pics from it. Okay, yeah, so yeah. all that... But that's where people Twitter. submitted parody songs and stuff. It's the same thing. Okay. Okay. So then, all right, so the, then then it's another idea that was not, before you tweeted, that was not not tossed by me. Well, the whole platform was tossed okay. by you. So the that, entire website, no. you said and yes. And I thought, I thought this, you guys, we went into great detail, uh, excruciating detail on uh, uh, Tuesday um, um, regarding the uh, <clears throat> Justin's schedule for the week, correct? For yeah. his wrap-up show. For the wrap-up, yes. So wasn't yesterday supposed to be a wrap-up show? Uh, yesterday, he did a wrap-up show with Harrison. Right? No, he didn't. We, we, no. did, we did a wrap-up show on Tuesday. Okay, but I thought the days we didn't have a show, he was doing a wrap-up show. Yeah, was the Harrison one not yesterday? I don't believe it was. Oh, yesterday was Thursday, so it was Wednesday. Right. Oh, and then we did the then we did the watch-along. That's not a wrap-up show. You're right. That's not so a wrap-up show. But this is, but this is no, but we talk, listeners. But we also that's talked false, about... No, no, that's false advertising to your listeners. Well, you we, care about, the only thing you care about is the YouTube channel. No, that's not true. So, that's what, not true. So, so you've already let them down. So you've already lied to them. No, I have not lied to them. So you and... First Justin of all, I told you your, this was a long. I didn't you even set any stone. Your stupid thing today, then, because we have yes, a show. Yes, we correct? are. What yes. is he saying? Get on the mic. I don't yeah, get in the fucking here. background. Yeah, what are you doing? Hello, Jay. Was he dead? <laughs> what were you? What were you saying? What are you saying? Oh, I said the Harrison wrap-up show was Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, we just said that. So we said, "Am I wrong?" The, the I thought we we talked about this, and I said, "Fine." The days that we do a show, such as today, or this week, Monday and Tuesday, normally we're on men Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can get it on iTunes and all that. Dave, Dave doesn't care about that. You can watch it on YouTube. Apple Podcasts. But so so yeah. Dave can do his, you know, it's his wrap-up show with Justin and stupid. take phone call. I, I, I listened to it for two minutes yesterday running, uh, your stupid thing with Willie Colon. And the two minutes I listened to you running, some guy called and talked to you about, like, your thing or something. I was like, all right, I'm all set. Like, well, what are we doing? What does here? that have to... What? They called in when we so, were live, so, so we took the call. So the days we do the show... You and Dave do a show, correct? Uh, correct. Okay. So the days we don't, you do a wrap-up show, correct? Yes, but okay. this week what, was different because why? it was Monday, Tuesday. So me and Harrison did one Wednesday. So we're going to we wouldn't do another one Thursday for the one we just did Wednesday on Tuesday. Correct. Well, why not? I thought that was what you told people. No. Well, first of all, we didn't set it in stone anyway. We said for the, we're planning. No, out. no, that's not so true. Effective, we said the days. effective Monday when we're back on the normal schedule. We said this was fucked up. This yeah. Was, you. So it's you and just you and Justin today. Yes. Correct. Correct. And you and Justin Wednesday. A Monday, Normally. rather. Monday. Yes. yes. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, when I say you and Justin, why would you say yes? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I'm not talking to you. That's a good point. You're dismissed. Go away, please. Jesus. Go do something else. Go fucking figure out something. You and Dave can go bowling together. <laughs> well, fine. Okay. It sounds, a, it sounds like a total disaster. No, it's set in stone now. We just planned it out. When we're okay. in rhythm, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Justin and I. Tuesday, Thursday, Justin and somebody else. Okay. Have you figured out we're going to do that? Wednesday morning, we're on the road. How are you going to put the show together? Yeah, technically, yeah. Okay. Not even a question. Not even That's not even a problem. What else, other than technically, what, what do you mean? Like where it's going to happen? Well, I didn't know if your question was regarding something else. I'll find a spot for where we're going to do okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Or maybe I will. Who yeah. knows? Okay. All right. What else is going on before we welcome Ryan Whitney to the uh, program? Um, He's in the green room now. We need to come. First guest. I was going to say, I was shocked you didn't like the watch along, but I don't know. I thought it went well. I'm glad it went well. Good. Yeah. It's your little playground for you guys. That's wonderful. That's, that's not, it's also for other people. It's people who consume the show. Yeah, it's great. And the callers. It's and maybe, maybe if that call was not kissing my ass, maybe it would have made this show if you liked it. No? What? 
Like if you like that call or if they brought something to the table, you could have said, hey, will you play that call the next Well, day? what from yesterday is brought to the table for today's show? Unfortunately, don't, nobody. They just kissed my ass. So it was a total callers. waste of time. Then. Uh, from no, this because, show's no, perspective. No, because there was a... Well, there from this a, show's perspective. Uh, to use on this show, yeah, okay. unfortunately. What else we yeah, got? Yeah. Well, we could, put, we could do our Greg Hill thing that we were talking is about. Is it real morning. or no? Yes. Okay, so... Yes, so yeah. I'm sorry, Dave. So uh, uh, this Nick from Boston guy, the guy who, who, if you're an old EI listener, he's the guy who did the Borges thing. He's the guy who fucked Ron Borges over. Really? Yes, Nick from Boston, a great Hall of Fame uh, Mina fan. Uh, uh, I saw him tweet out and then Dave's uh, uh, burner account there, the radio watch thing. <laughs> so I guess they were shitting. Were they shitting on Jerry? So this is this is going to, boy, I mean, not that Jerry's going to do anything, but this would this would piss me off, boy. Y- yeah, so I heard something yesterday out of Curtis making kind of like an angry Boston guy voice. Are you listening to the show every day? No, you get alerts from people and stuff. And, oh, okay. and, and they were saying they're do, he's doing a Jerry impression. I'm sure he is. Which, he, but again, he didn't have the balls to say Jerry yesterday. Which again, start with me. Just yeah. to keep it, just, I mean, nobody was doing that before. I'm again, I, 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 don't, I don't know. This this annoyed me because because you know what annoys me about the Davis? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do more on it than Jerry will. That's true. Which is nuts. <laughs> Does revenge mean uh, something else in, in Jerry's pot? Is there a different meaning to that word that I don't know about? Uh, I don't. He doesn't talk. Then a lot bending of it. it over and taking it right in the fucking asshole. Yeah, like, re- am I missing something? I don't think there's much revenge. Where's, I mean, is there a different? Is there a different definition for revenge? Justin, look up revenge for me, would you please? <laughs> so, so this is. This is uh, uh, Greg Hill and Curtis this morning. Uh, yeah, it's this is well, it's Curtis's impression. Is it like Curtis's. a bit, or it's so I guess it's going to be a new bit that they All work right. on. Yeah, um, we know one person who's very upset with that, and that is uh, Curtis's uh, Mister America guy. Do we have a name? Yeah, for Yeah, we got to name him. When you do, when my name's Jerry. Jerry America. <laughs> oh, Jerry America. That's the guy's yeah, name. Okay, finally, right. get some nuts on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry America. Oh, this place hasn't what? had balls in a couple of years. Oh. That's actually a pretty good name, though. I know. It's yeah. a good name. Jerry America. Yeah. I like right, it. That's, that's, that'll be Curtis's yeah. American hard old character. That and that's has. Mr. Jerry America to you, Wiggy. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Uh, speaking of Curtis, we got to get to... All right. Oh, 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 if I was Jerry, I mean, oh, I'd lose my mind. And, like, it's obviously not funny, but, like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, but at least they're, at least they're naming names. We can not, make fun of him all day. Not but really. They, they I called mean, him out. I guess. Not really. I, I don't know. I mean, oh. Well, all right. I mean, hopefully Jerry fights back. I don't think he will. I hope he does, because I know he hates them. I haven't. My, what was I with Jerry? A year and a half? Mm-hmm. Two years almost? Yeah. Not, not a lot of WEI talk. No, I don't know. He, he, Jerry continues to think he's going to, like, land some big national thing and become this big Republican voice. And it's just not gonna, like it's I, I tell him it's not it's not his fault. He's better than these guys. But he also is he on better terms with those guys than you are? I don't I use on no terms with those guys. I don't think he yeah. never talks to the he Curtis. doesn't talk to Curtis. No, 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 never. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be, if, if if I was being mocked on that show, that, that shitty show by that guy, Chris Curtis and Greg Hill and Jermaine Wiggins. who I think Jerry put on the station like I'd be like, oh, and whoever that oh, that, I mean, that girl must be terrible. Courtney Cox must be awful. Yeah, uh, like I would be, I would lose my fucking mind. But you know, hey, that's the way it is, I guess. Well, um, yeah. listen, they didn't. I mean, it's not too. They just did a quick little thing. They oh, did it again later in the show. You want to hear the next sure. version of it? Yeah. What is half ball? Half ball is where you get usually a broomstick and you. It's actually the nickname for a guy who used to work at a uh, factory where, we, where he had an accident. Uh, uh, Wiggy worked with him. And then Half Ball's you, Greg Hill. That guy's a sackless loser. <laughs> and then you, you were, oh, Jerry America. Stop Jerry it. America. Oh, let's get some real stop talk. It, Jerry I'm America. trying to explain. Hannity. I'm trying to explain. I'll to tell you me. what. If that women's soccer team just saluted the flag, they wouldn't have lost that first game. Oh, so you know what would really burn me if I was Jerry about this? That's how they make fun of him when they're not in the air. Yes. That's what really Way worse him. off. Way, way worse. Curse Curtis, yeah. who believes all that stuff like suck jerry off you would have thought jerry was a you know 20 year old intern the way curtis was all over him it's like it, oh that would bother me that would bother me and curtis continuing the rise of the station after you know curtis you know, has timing on underlings is very strange if you hear the intro curtis gets named before the new girl so it's greg wiggy curtis ken then the new girl really in the intro yeah jeez yes yes that is wild so One second here uh, i'm gonna send you something um I don't know if this is. Let me see. Are you trying to give us the definition yes. of revenge? One second. <laughs> give this number a call, Dave. Would you? Uh,
Nah, no answer, huh? Oh, well, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. What's, her, what's the definition? Yeah, you want to give us the definition? It is a noun. It is the action of inflicting hurt or harm on someone for an injury or wrong oh. suffered at their hands. He better. He better. Uh, I'm, I'm texting him right now. Why don't we just call him? You want to call him? No, nah, I wouldn't do it on his own show. Oh, okay. You know. Mocking you today. Ooh, that's a hard word. It's I true. I shouldn't be defending him, right? Because he doesn't offend me anymore, so I shouldn't be doing anything. Who? Jerry. No, he hates you. Yeah, he hates me. No, now, he's so. fine with yeah. you. He's fine with you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oof, that. Oh, 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 nothing would piss me off more. It's like when Curtis said I was irrelevant. He said that a few months ago. It was like, you, you gotta be fucking shitting. They're me. buying views on Twitch. They get no. Every tweet no that ratings. they do is from Mina fans. If yeah. there's response. Oh, it's true. Yeah. I know. It's true. And he's sitting there making fun of, making fun of Jerry, who, like, Jerry fought for fucking Curtis, like got him a raise, like, you know, brought him back like I do when he was drunk for like just unbelievable. And now he's, I don't know, like, it'd be one thing if they were pals and they joked around. But like this is, like I said, what bothered me is I would know that's what they're doing when like the cameras are off, which they never do almost to their credit. Now they're something new, but oh, and they have that. Jermaine Wiggins and that Courtney. Oh, oh, that would fucking drive me bananas. I think you won that war. I think that one's over. So I don't think you got to worry about WEI. Well, I hope they do, but yeah. you know, who knows? Um, what else is going on? Do you want to uh, you want to hear from Portnoy on Decaro? You're not going to touch on Decaro with uh, Wit, are you? Uh, with who? With Ryan Whitney. I, I, what'd you call him? I didn't hear. I it. called him Wit. Why is that? Well, I listen to the podcast. They oh, call him Wit. Are you friends with him? Uh, I've met him once. Okay. We're, we're not. I'm not on Wit terms. I was probably. We should call that say. lawyer. She has a number. Uh, uh, that wacky lawyer has got looks. She has, you know, her, her her picture and her is like sunglasses and her photograph. Like the, the one who posts more about her short films than she ever will about her legal. I don't resume. know. She blocked me on Twitter. I I can't find anything on her. You didn't see her number? Uh, let me go look for it. You can say her name. What's her name? Ann LaBarbara or something? Was it Ann LaBarbara? Right? Yeah, I think LaBarbara. so. Let me grab it. Let's call her. See what yeah. see what her case is. Okay. Um. Yeah, I saw Dave. Uh, yeah, here it is. The first thing we go on her name is IMDB. Yeah, that's all you can find about her. Right. Um, and she's, in, I think she's, you know, I think a New York lawyer. Like I said she blocked me on Twitter. Her tweets are protected, so she's like Julie, I guess. Let's see. You want to give her a call? Yeah. Give her office a call? Yeah. Yeah, she's got her sunglasses down in the picture. It's kind of like the like Penny Marshall wore them for the last 20 years of her life. It's a very odd. Hello. Hi, may I speak to Ann? Yeah, this is Ann. Ann, you're live to tape. This is Kirk Minahan. How are you? Oh. I mean, why? why? Oh. I don't understand. I wasn't expecting that. I don't understand. No. I, I said live to tape, correct? You did. I don't even. She can't answer. What kind of lawyer is that? I. You just wanted to have a little conversation, Absolutely. get a little bit more background. So she goes, that's a lawyer. That's Julie's lawyer. Which, to Dave's point, uh, uh, a good point by Colin Ann. I don't, I don't think Penguin Putnam would have this person being a lawyer. Now, I could see her being the Mike Portnoy of, like, maybe she's attached, Julie knows her or something, and she's part of it. Yep. Now, Julie will tweet out how we're attacking her. By the way, she will. Remember, that is my only... She's, she, when I first found out her name, um, that weasel Jason Barrett had one of his people write a story about it. That guy who, I mean, I, nothing, not enough bad things can happen to him. Uh, um, one of his people got, obviously, knows Julie, and so they wrote some story... Where she's like, I don't know who the plaintiff is, the lawyer. Like, oh, like just fucking typical lawyer bullshit. So I looked up her name. I didn't even know this person was. And I saw she blocked me on Twitter already, probably, you know. Uh, you know. Well, she's private. Retro. She's private. It's not even blocking. She went private. Oh, but it says you're blocked when I go to her. Oh, so she, yeah, okay, yeah, never yeah. mind. So, uh, so, that, that's how, so when Julie tweets out for you people who are somehow still in her world, I think she went private as well? Yes. Um, understand that that's like... When they say, you know, like you're being, they're attacking my lawyers. That is, uh, on the life of my children, the entirety, what you heard right here some 40 seconds ago is the entirety, soup to nuts, all the way through of my conversation with, what is it? Anne. Anne. La Barbara. La Barbara. Yes. The lawyer for Julie DeCaro. Now, she has made some nice short films before. I don't know if you is got that right? background. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I, I mean, maybe she's a terrific lawyer. I mean, I, you know, and I wish some luck on their suit. I don't really care. <laughs> Good luck finding information on her legal resume and her history. Is there anything? There's nothing. Is she actually a lawyer? Uh, she is a lawyer. Uh, I, I read as much as I could about her and I got nothing other than, you know, I don't have any cases to reference. I have nothing. Okay. Yeah. You all right? <laughs> 
What are you doing over there? Can, Justin, can you fix this mic? That seems fine. Can, can that is? Do you want to put your headphones on or no? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. I, but you got to talk into it. You got to go closer. Well, that's it. what I'm saying. I tried to get it closer. I'm not gonna sit like this the whole time, Dave. No. Okay. You look good. You look good. Yeah. Is that better? How's that? Yeah. It looks good. Sounds good. All right. There we go. What's up, buddy? How you doing? It's been a while. Oh, it's been a long time. I'm trying to it's figure been, out. It's, the... been, it's been eight months. Just is that right? Vote. Doesn't the studio look beautiful now? What a dump. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's a little better. Is it's it really? A, it's oh, a little better. Sure. I, I mean, that stuff hasn't really changed. That's Not dump, at all. That's dump material. But Not at least at I, there was like trash. There was like old pizza boxes and stuff. So <laughs> was it's it a really? Little, it's a little bit better. Huh. Have you met Colin Name before? He's, I you're, have like, met. you're one of his. This, this is for this be like me meeting Bruce Springsteen. Oh, right? he, no. The no. first time I met him, he was like cranking it to me. I was like, dude, put your dick away. It was like, no, <laughs> stop the madness. <laughs> wait, 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 like the first time you met him, he's masturbating no, in front no, of you? No, I'm just okay. busting his this? balls. But he's a great guy. I, I've no, gotten no, to know him a little bit. And no. I'm telling you right now, the uh -huh. show's way better with him. You're fucking crazy to think it's not as good. It's way better with him. I'm a Colin <laughs> guy. Don't go for it. No, no, no. You like Steve. Hey. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I didn't know Steve. I met him the one time here. Yeah. Um, I, I actually know, think the, show, the, show's, the show's better. I actually think the show's worse. The show's better. You're fucking nuts. It's not there. Right? I am it's nuts. Not there. It's I am not nuts. There. I am nuts. He's just saying this to try to make you feel better. He's just breaking you in. It's it's better show with Dave Colony. It's not, and I, I know that, so it's fine. He's now he's doing that are so you, you can so you can you tell fucking, it. Are you no, stupid? Don't, don't no. Yeah, yes. Like try like being confident and going with no, me. I'm no. not joking. No, I'm, but I'm, you're I'm, gonna change. You're gonna make me change my right, mind. He's, he's doing that so you will then say it's better again. That's always that's why. That he's is doing not it. true. That's why do you have to turn it. shit into that? All did the you time. apply for a but job? Like, with him? I did not. I already said I did not. Steve didn't have much of a sense of humor. I actually think that you. Neither does he. I actually think no. He does. He's just a sicko. You, I can't believe like the way you've gone about with Steve. I thought you would end up. I mean, he shit on your show. He shit on the show. He fucking, he hated the guests. He hated the show. And like you, I hate the of show. all people, Dave, this guy, I thought this guy would fuck. I'm actually waiting until the next year for him one day to snap and just start ripping Steve. Well, that's, see, that is inevitable. Mm -hmm. that I, is, that I know, is the, yeah, I know. That is, that, is, that is the cycle. But but I'm trying as I get older to, okay. say, to say the guy. Dude. What do you want? Relax, Justin. <laughs> what are you going to have phone sex again? I told him to do that. <laughs> You know what? It was creepy as shit. Yeah, you loved it. You fucking came you a fucking, river to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, yeah, Justin. Massive chunks. <laughs> yeah, Justin, you uh, sicko. Like he didn't. He he was sick of doing the show. Mike, like let's just say, let's just say for argument's sake, right, Mikey? I would uh, fucking despise him if he just said, "Look, I, I I we had a great time, but I just want to do something else." But he didn't say that. I, he kind of did. He said, "I hate the show, and I hate but, but, and I hate but, the listeners." No, I think he hates the listeners. So do I. You know, you don't. I, um, oh, I mostly hate the listener. Of course yeah, I Yeah, I just, I just, like, for you, for some, like, the Kirk Minahan show, for him to say, I hate the show that day, it's like, dude, this guy, Kirk, is going to bury this guy. And then it's been, I don't want to be mean. But like I said, it's go it's coming. It's coming. And Steve will catch the wrath when he's driving around fucking Idaho in a trailer. Well, I mean, Steve's, Steve, Steve's ultimate punishment is whatever he does next, and it will be in this business, is he's going to host one of these shitty political shows. Do you think that was his goal? I don't know, but we're just going to dump on it. No, 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 I, I really don't. I could be wrong. If I find out he's lying, then he's dead. But, like, I'm going to dump on his fucking show every day. Oh, yeah, he's Which done. would be good he's for done. him, though, in a way, too, though, I think. Yeah, it'll be getting uh, it'll be getting ears listened to it by you giving him shit, but it won't be good listens. It'll be hate listens, and yeah. then that that if he hated the listeners when he was part of the show, can well, you imagine what the listeners will do to him when he's on another thing. show? You that's can't you thing. can't look at it like that. He, I don't YouTube, think he will. Built, YouTube don't... built this together. There's always going to be a place for Steve. Well, what, what upset Steve? No, I, I built it. What upset Steve? <laughs> Not this <laughs> room. He didn't build that. That's true. He physically built this. Built it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it looks great <laughs> <laughs> for him. What upset Steve the most is when I said that we weren't partners. And I was like, well, we're not like, you're not a partner with Mike Grinelli. Yeah, I think it's a Grinnell, four, I think Grinnelli, it's a four man know. team. But even Mikey, if you said, you know what I mean, like, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's different levels of, of the team, right? There's you and Biz. R.A. and Grinelli. So R.A. is below you two. Uh, no, our, us three are all the same. But you guys make more money than he does. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, I don't yeah, know I, what no, R.A. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what R.A. I can confirm that. I don't know. what. Oh, how do you know? I know. I have people. I have. Oh, you know. Inside. You know salaries. I know how much. How much everybody makes a barstool. Oh no shit! What's no. Big Cat make? Uh, That's the biggest question. What's that's a Dan good make? Question. That's a good question. I think he makes like nine million. Do you say that knowingly or no? No, I don't know shit. Oh, he doesn't make as much as Alex Cooper. I read that story in the Wall Street. Twenty Journal sheets a year for Holy that girl. Shit. Oh uh, my god! And she's going after your crime podcast. I know. I, saw, I know. That'll be an interesting crime podcast. She should do ones that are like when people die during sex or something. Yeah, she she's like keep then they were fucking them from right. behind. Did, did, and did, did, or, or the guy, or the guy from Kill Bill, you know, uh, uh, Carradine, who killed himself, like uh, asphyxiate. You know, when you're trying to get off. Yeah. He. That's how he died. Who? Uh, the guy from Kill Bill, David the, Carradine. 
Oh, the old guy? Yeah, Bill. Like in real life? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, not in the film. Yeah. Well, I don't know. She got him with a couple crazy moves in the that's film, true. I did, remember. She did also die in the film. But yes, I think that's how we died. I could be wrong. What were you going to say? Did you hear the audio I posted this morning? No. Yeah, I did. Oh. I actually just saw that. I was laughing. He's like, here's the next crime podcast. Play it now. <laughs> so KFC texted me about this too. You're going to go simultaneously take your left or your right hand, whatever one's not on the dick, and you're going to slide it down behind your back and you're going to put pressure on your asshole with Easy your fingers, okay? And on the count of three in your head, you're going to be going a little lower, a little lower. Here we go. You're going on the dick down, down, down. And all of a sudden, and you do the big gag on the dick and you release the fart at the same exact time. So it's like he couldn't even focus if there was a loud, like huge fart because your gag noise was so intense. And, okay. that, and can you imagine? No, you're not, a, you're you, not I, enthralled by I, that? No, I'm not. And, and next you hear, and then I was speaking to the DA about this murder. <laughs> yeah, I'll be curious. How, I mean, she's smart. I'm, she could maybe pull it off. I just think she's got, I, I wonder, I, as I always, whenever we, her name comes up, do, does she try and become like I think Oprah th fucking Winfrey I or something? I that's think gonna that's going to be a mistake if she of, does that. I think that's kind of, I shouldn't say, I don't know the girl. I've never Neither met do her. Neither do I. But, I but, know nothing about but this. But it seems as though maybe it's switching a little bit. Um, now, my partner, Biz, he used to talk about all the time about his sex capades, but now he has a girlfriend, so you understand completely why. But I think part of it, too, is like, I don't know, you get older, it gets a little different, but she built that brand on that stuff. True. So if she's going to be- man bit my clit. <laughs> Jesus. Holy shit. It's not good. Get that cum. <laughs> All right, Dave. Well, you, hear Dave, you hear how Dave like, had to mention the KFC text of the two of them, too. I know. I like, did, I did dude, how bad does well, no, Dave... Was, no, Dave, no, can no, I no, fucking no, talk? It's going no, to it's gonna feel so good to fire him. I can't, like, I'm, I can't wait. Dave, can I talk? Go, go. You have been so obsessed with being in Barstool. No, oh, shut up. It's true. I mean, shut it's a up. It's a, Dave, it's, it's a, not. It's a it's fact. Not, it's Dave, not true. Dave, you oh, yeah. You know what? I want to be in Barstool so bad. I'll go work in Watertown, Massachusetts to get in because we have so much of a relationship with Barstool Sports here. It's well, better well, than nothing. Well, who have we had on, who have we had on this week? Yeah, you know, Big we've had, Cat. We've had Dan, we've had Dan Katz, and we've had Ryan Whitney. What does that have to do with me well, getting into say, Barstool? Because say, you're, you weren't involved in the first all. person. He's who, the first person who, I've seen that who works who at Barstool. Who pays your checks, you moron? Dave, no why shit. can't you just admit it that you wanted Jesus. to be a part of Barstool? It's not that fucking crazy Because to I say. told the truth. I wanted to work with Kirk Minahan. What's wrong with that? Is it a is it a perk that it's Barstool instead of fucking Intercom? Yes. Yes. Okay, well, either way, Yandel told me that people have been calling you Stillwell from... <laughs> Oh, a league yes. of their own. You know the fat, annoying kid. That's what the, the, the fans kid? are calling Dave. Do the Minute fans hate him? Uh, no, no, they it's no. Dave, Dave, I feel like they like you. Dave is like Dave is like Dan Katz in the in like Big Cat in the way that he wants everyone to like him. So yeah. like, they, like Dave will like he will basically just you know if somebody tweets something bad about him he'll just tweet them until they not until they like him. Yeah, the, the other day they just bury them with kindness. But you know what like, the thing about those people are is like. Then when they, when you do hate them, they can't stand it. They Correct. can't deal Correct. with it. Correct. Whereas like you know, you and I, I don't give a shit. Life's too short. Hate away. Buddy. What are you gonna do? Hate yeah. away. Yeah. What are you, I mean, there's not, there's not. Dave wants to be liked. Dave has a feeling of needing to be wanted in this world. I think if you ask, and nobody wants him. It's, a, it's he the has irony. 14 jobs too. It's like how bad's he doing at the other jobs? Well, that's the other thing. Well, that's the other thing. Well, that's the whole thing with Nardini when we tried to pitch Justin a full time job. She was like, "What well, is fucking call name doing?" I was like, "It's a good question. I don't really. Know. I don't know. I actually how, don't know. I know it's interesting because." Won't you kind of do the same job as one another back yes. there? Yes. Yes. Well, Justin's live. He's he's cutting clips of the show live right now. Justin, I can't cut Justin clips. has an energy level fucking zero point two. Unbelievable. It's like it's, it's fucking you. pussy. He's the, <laughs> he's the opposite. Ironically, he's the opposite of Robin Williams. It'll end the same, but he's the opposite of Robin Williams. Oh. Taste your fingers. <laughs> Like, you just like, sometimes I'm like, even today when he came up there, I'm like, are you alive? Like, what? You know, and he, and he sleeps like 16, 17 hours a day. So, yeah. What do you need, Kirk? <laughs> uh, just get out of the office. <laughs> Tell me what's in your ass right now. <laughs> oh, God. What's going on with you? Not much, man. Not much. Uh, now the hockey's over? Hockey's over. A little bit of a... Bro well, actually, we're still going strong because of free agency in the draft. And oh, then right, August, right. we'll be able to... We've banked some interviews, some good stuff. So what we can just got? drop those. We, draw, we got Jose... Oh, don't call him Jose. Jose Theodore. The old he, goaltender for the Canadians. Canadians. He yeah. won the... Uh, 
That's one reason why I think you like the show better with Dave, because secretly you like sports and you know so much about sports, and Steve knows fucking nothing about yeah, sports. Dave, I've never spoke about, I've never spoke a second with Dave about sports. But so, he's more into sports than Steve is. He and is? You, I don't even know that. Is are that you not a sports? Oh guy? yeah, I'm definitely more into sports than Steve. Yeah. Are you still playing the hits? Oh, I play the hits every day. Yeah. Yeah, back to me. So Who I, cares? Uh, I you we got jo questions? Jose Theodore. Yeah. Uh, he was great. He talked about a lot. When is he, he was, retired or no? He's retired. When okay. he was with the Canadians, he won. The, um, last he won the MVP, the heart then, trophy. Yeah, it was unreal mm -hmm. season for a goalie. And Maybe then after Bret Hart, I believe. And then he, uh, yeah, Bret Hart, the, mm -hmm. the the wrestler. Correct. Yeah, he was a sick hockey player growing up. He was he really or no? Yeah, he was nasty. That's why they named the trophy after. Oh, him. I didn't know that. So okay. they, uh, okay, <laughs> they then my own joke. They then. Uh, what happened? His father got in trouble uh, with the with the law. I think like tax evasion and stuff. He'd never really spoken about it, so we talked about that. It was a big deal in Montreal. Him being from Montreal, so that was a great interview. We're dropping that in August. We're dropping Scott Gomez, who we had on the old New Jersey Devil. Yep, uh, mm -hmm. two time Stanley Cup champ. Ken Danico, three time Stanley Cup champ, lifelong Mister mm -hmm. Devil, and then uh, a couple others. So it's good. You know, you need a little time off. You know, you just took about three weeks. I was trying to look for shows. You're nowhere to be found. <laughs> fucking up in Maine. <laughs> Well, I mean, sometimes you do have to take some vacation. I know that's what I'm saying. Like I'm, I, you know, I, I that's one good thing with with Dave with not calling it Portnoy. When like you know, when I did my original contract, they were they was like, "What do you mean vacation?" Like he's like, I've, "We've never given vacation to anybody." I know. In the contract, then they had to just say days off in it. So it's like four, whatever it is. Like it's I, there's, there's a word they use. I don't even know what it is. And I was like, "You think I'm the work?" I know. Every week? That's what I'm he a, did, I'm though. Tommy Smokes. I'm fucking 46 years old. I have a family. I've made a lot of money. Like, I don't... These, these people... These pe and Look, I give them credit, but these people have, like, a slave mentality at this company, some of them. Oh, well, that... Where they think if they fuck up... And, I mean, let's be honest. If, if they didn't have Barstool, some of them would have no careers. Like, I don't I mean, even know if they'd be alive, some right, of them. Right, like, what do you... Yeah, like, you, I mean, you can pick any of them. You know, I like all these guys. But, I know. You know. What would Glenny Balls be doing? And there will be people who, you know, at some point either don't have contracts renewed or aren't there, and then it's like, hey, wakey, wakey, what are you going to do now? Like Carabas, yeah. Fucking hey, Carabas is crazy. Yeah. I don't hate Carabas. Um, what do I have to say about Carabas? I was happy for him that he got that deal with Ortiz. You know, that's his, like, lifelong dream. I don't yeah. know who they're going to be interviewing. Is it kind of like Dan with A-Rod? I think it's similar. To, I don't know this. So when Jared told me about this, I don't want to. Did they announce any of the names they've interviewed? Because I don't want to give. No. Oh, they have no names that I've seen. No. Okay, so they're big names. They are going to be. All right, yeah. so you know some of them. Yeah. Who big, are they? Uh, if you guess them, I'll tell you. It's just baseball world, or is it like all of entertainment? All kind of entertainment. Of? Uh, well, I, I would say sports focused, but some outside of entertainment. <clears throat> Fuck, I wouldn't even know. Dude. I'll tell you the first guest. Even... I'll tell you right now. Yeah. It's the guy who shot Ortiz. No shit. Yeah, first guest. Yeah, yeah why'd you do that, man? Ah, oh, you fucked my wife. Oh, oh no way. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> That's the story, right? That is the story. That's the. St I mean, I don't know. I don't know David Ortiz. I always heard that was the that story. That is the story. You never. Oh, you never. I heard him? he slept with a drug lord's wife. That is the rumor. Okay, so maybe it's a rumor. I'm just saying. Uh, what's the word when you say something's a rumor? Allegedly. Allegedly. Let's let's pre Smart. let's pre preface. Yep. There we go. Yeah, you're gonna say preface. Oh, uh, the thing about Carabas, I. So I don't know Jared, <laughs> but I would follow him online. I was like, I hate this kid. But then, but then I talked to Grinelli. I'm like. Is he a good guy? He's like, no, he's the man. Great he's, guy. he's nothing. And then I realized, like, my Twitter and how I act isn't really necessarily how I am in real life. It's fake life on the internet. So I'd love to get to know Jared. It's not that. It's not that enjoyable. It's like he's not. He doesn't have much to. to well, to, he to comes bring. in here. And I like when he's on because he's like funny enough. But he also just kind of is just sitting here. You know, he's not like yeah breaking news or anything. Uh, but, no. But he no. came at me like that. All started when he called me that time. What Remember happened? That? I it don't was, know. I remember being on the bike and he called me. He's looking it at about, me, though? smiling. I think we went over this last time. I don't even know what it was about. No, no. What, what it was was... It he was, took offense to something. It was during the Eric... On her podcast, she said that Jared's podcast wasn't growing. And then they basically asked, why aren't you... Dave said to him, why aren't you the version of Spitting Chicklets for baseball? And then they went back and forth. And then you made fun of him about something. Like something in that world. And yeah, it was so jokingly, here. though. He got very sensitive. And he called me and was just I know, I remember. He's very sensitive. I always He's bring that very up. very sensitive. But I like Jared. Jared guy. That's not a good comparison, though. The, what ba the baseball chicklets thing. That's not a good comparison. Well, Wait, no, he, he, didn't, he didn't play in the majors, so no. Well, that's true. But also, you're not a Bruins podcast. You're an NHL podcast. He's a Red Sox we podcast. We sort of started as, uh, no, that's not what she's talking about. She want, Nice try, Dave. Good job on the Barstool well, World. Trying, she, well, she, wanted, she wanted, he has Section 10 as Red Sox. He has starting nine. She wanted yeah, starting. I'm not, a, I'm not a fucking idiot. She wants starting nine. What do you mean you're not an idiot? Starting just, nine has been around for a year. It's been around a year and a half. Longer than that. Is that the one with Dallas Braden? Hey, dummy. 
You just said it's a Red Sox podcast. No, she Section wasn't. 10 is a Red Sox podcast, and that's the one that has been around for 10 years. And Erica was saying she wanted the other one to grow. Yeah, your podcast has been on for the eight one, years or whatever with, it's with, been. The one with Dallas Brayton, right? Yes. Yes. And I think it's doing fine. It's, is it as big as Spit and Chicklets? No, no, nor is my show. But no. I don't know if any baseball podcasts are that big. Well, I don't think how many podcasts are as big as Spit and Chicklets. Not, not many. I mean, I don't know. Uh, top, I mean, I think podcasts it's overall? I think there's I saw, a lot. I thought it was like ninth in the world the other day. I saw some tweet. Uh, no, no. It would be, it gets really big in Canada. I think there's times we've been the number one in Canada, like including every category. But I think most of the time we're top 10 every uh, sports episode we drop, which is great. I mean, well, it's, it's fantastic. awesome. Um, I always say that, I've said this a few times, when we played you guys in that trivia thing. We got the, smoked. Not really. It was, it was Steve had a big game. Yeah, uh, yeah, Steve was money, and then he left in a fucking RV. <laughs> <laughs> you could, I, I, I say you could see the difference of, like, how life is on their show and our show. Before it started, Biz <laughs> yeah. and R.A. and Whitney were breaking each other's balls and joking and making fun of me and whatever. And me, Steve, and Krabbis are sitting there just, like, not a fucking word exchanged. Not one word. Like, you know, people— Jared was watching a game. He was, yeah, nah, Steve was just, like, stay, Steve was so ex- was dying to quit. I was just sitting there, like, let's just fucking get this over with. Steve was it's, like writing a blog about like politics and you're just like, why the fuck am I here? <laughs> Are you doing the trivia again this year? Yeah, we're doing the same thing. I mean, RA's solid. He knows a lot. I, I'm Briz and I are terrible at trivia. I think we're more of just like, uh, we're like batting practice for the big teams. I just got a text as we speak from Jeff D. Lowe. I'm, we're taping our first appearance on Monday. Who do you two. who who do you got? I have Trista Crick. Oh, she's well liked there. Who everyone hates, but that's that's great, right? <laughs> oh, I think she's actually doing a good job. I mean, yeah, I, I don't, don't know. I, does, I know but... like her takes always miss. I saw the video Smitty put. It was very funny with all the wrong takes. But yeah. I have a million wrong takes, and she's good at taking shit. It seems like I, I can't stand the people who can't take it. It's like, right. dude, we just give and take, like bust balls or you know, vagina then, uh, in her case. And then uh, yes, and then. Yes, that's true. And then uh, uh, Pat. Oh, Pat. Yes. Is he? So do you know if these two are like good at trivia? I have no idea. Oh, so I have you, no idea. Th- th- this one could end poorly. For oh, it could end very good. <laughs> We've already gone through before the season. Sorry, I already hired and fired Rico Bosco and uh, Jeff Nadeau. They're already both come and gone. So this is my team. I have just picked my niche categories. I sent them to uh, Jeff Nadeau. They're, they're, switch- they're switching. They're switching. got to be more it. specific. So you have three. You have to give them three things, three categories. I don't, I don't, should I spoil it if I, I don't care? No, no. Just do it. Uh, uh, the Masters. Yep. The Ryder Cup. Yep. And Springsteen. Yeah, there's no. Do you remember the fucking last time I was here? Who we talked to? Yes. That yes. That was, yes. That's that right. That's right. That's right. That he's, like, like, <laughs> and he's like, he's like, what do you want me to do? No names of songs and lyrics and, and albums. Cons was, like, was, was like, if a hockey fan came on and he's like, <laughs> well, I don't know what the Stanley Cup is. He didn't know, like, the first thing about Bruce Springsteen, so that was a shit-kicking. Are you telling me Gretzky, he played before the Kings? Like, where, where was that? Gretzky was a fucking righty, man. <laughs> He's not a left shot. I forgot about that. So, that's right, you were here. Yeah, I was here. That's that was right. a, That was a fun night, because I know Khan's decently well. You do? I don't know him. Yeah, I, just I like, him I've just gotten to know him a little bit, so I love giving him shit, and he just got roasted that night. It was perfect. Well, you've been in New York a little bit, right? Yeah, we went back uh, for the... We were there in the first round, streaming games, and then right. we were in there for the finals. We were supposed to... We had the sick plan set up. If planning on Vegas beating Montreal, we're going to go to Vegas, go to a couple games, do a live watch party at a pool party. It was okay. just... oh. And then instead, we ended up in smelly 99-degree Manhattan for the there's Montreal nothing, Canadiens Tampa Bay shit final. There's nothing... I mean... It's the if, worst place ever. If they ask me... Like, if they, if they say, we really want you, like, I would do it. But if they don't ask me, you'll never see me there. Yeah. Ever. Like, for the next, until I'm done, for the next three years. Yeah, I, I saw I, uh, what you said, never work anywhere else. I, if I'm ever, oh, I'm, I'm done. If I'm ever working, it'll be at Barstool the rest of my life. I don't know how long I'll be doing this, but I will never work anywhere else, I agree. But New York, I said, they put us up in a really nice hotel to yeah. block from the studio. I know exactly what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking done. That's the grossest area where that office is. Right. It's just smelly, <laughs> trash, homeless shit. And I said, I'll take a 15-minute cab ride. Put me in the West Village. No more. No mas. So I think you might have stayed where Steve stayed then. No, I was- didn't stay where Steve stayed. I wasn't in a bunker hiding with fucking... <laughs> I was... <laughs> I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't oh. raiding a Shaw's when COVID hit and living in my bunker. <laughs> you are down on Steve. I like it. No, no. I but, like it. No, I like it. I, I just thought you'd be down on him. But in the end, I just love when you get mad. So I'm just more trying to tee you How up. How do you want me to be down on him? Well, he needs him for uh, the case. He, he, needs him, he needs him as a producer for the case. Oh, I he's thought you were going to do it. Well, because he's a dick. He won't let me. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that's because you can't do that, Dave. Oh, shut up. I it's can do it. It's not playing fucking 
Queen Latifah hits at five in the morning. Oh, I, can picture, I, can picture being, I can picture being in the car with Colin. I'll tell you, season two of the case uh, is going to take place somewhere in the Midwest. I'm oh, you already know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to take some place wow. in the Midwest. I'll just tell you that. Uh, I just picture myself in the car with Colin at seven in the morning, like oh. waiting to go in and Colin just talk. You know, I don't know. It's, it, but, but like, you know, I'm just trying to help. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I would just fucking <laughs> want to just turn and fucking put a gun right in his fucking mouth and pull the trigger. No, it's like he's so t- he's the guy who's so talkative. Yeah, and like, you're just like, like shut there. the fuck up. Hey, man, up. you want a coffee? What can yeah. I get you? Yeah. Over there, they got, no. the, they got the, they got the uh, waffles you can make. It's one of those Holiday Inn Expresses. You want one, Kirk? You're just like, <laughs> and then he, ah! but I'm talkative based on and then, uncom- and then, like being and then he uncomfortable. Wants to, and then he wants to be like an expert on something I already know about. He's like, you know, in radio. But I'm like, Dave, shut the fuck you up. You have no fucking clue. You haven't spent any up. time with me. This is the longest we've ever spent together. So stop the madness. You have no idea. But there's. A, but I think he does, though. I think he does. Well, What's your pitch to produce the K season two? Like yeah. 10 second pitch. 10 second pitch. That's what I just said. It'll be better than season one. Okay. Why? You know how he says 10 second pitch so he gets so he more gets time thought, to think? Yes, Dude, yeah. he just asked you the fucking well, question. You pointed that out a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. It'll be better than season one. Okay. <laughs> what, what are you going to do? What What could I? I'm, I'm, Dude, I'm not bad. Okay, fine. Good. Good so, job. Really you, good. You got really it, good pitch, dude. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Dude, what? <laughs> dude, what's your pitch? Dude, what's your pitch? You, you should have just, just said, you didn't, uh, you, didn't uh, solved, you didn't solve the case, so my, what's your my, pitch my, for my, season my two? My pitch for you is I don't want you to produce it. What are you talking about? What is his pitch? He's doing the show. He it's doesn't my need show, to pitch idiots. it, you dumb my dumb. Pitch, my pitch for, you think my pitch for season two, the bar stool, was a fucking shitload of people listen to it. made a lot of money for the company. Yeah, and why wouldn't a shitload of people listen to it if I produced it? Because they don't need to hear the hits being played what off the, the hits fucking have to do with it? You shut your mouth. Right? You look, you look you're like a slob it. leaning back like that, by the way. Why don't you have some posture? I'm real worried I look like a slob in your eyes, Dave. You Boy. fucking roll out of bed just screaming slob. <laughs> Are you talking about are you joking about you going back at him with this posture? He looks like hunched over or whatever. Sitting like, like chair. back. Hunched I mean, over. Yeah. I'm in this terrible chair that you <laughs> set up in the office with I, an I, awful I, microphone that barely I works. I guarantee you Steve got that chair from Goodwill. I have no I have no <laughs> doubt. None. Like twelve dollars and he fucking bargained it there. He was like the guy's like fourteen, he's like ten. He had, well, he had so 20 to spend. He gets right. to keep the extra six bucks. <laughs> That's probably true, by the way, actually. Uh simplysafe.com slash kirk. Simplysafe.com slash kirk. Uh but, you know, very easy. If your home's, you know, if you don't have it, get it. Make your home secure. It's easy to do. It's, it's set up. You can do it in less. I think it's set up, I think it's sent to you in a week, I believe. Let me double check that. Keeps your home very safe, though. That's what you need. That is very true, Ryan. We all, uh, got, we all got kids here, right? Uh, yes. Not Justin. Well, Justin Dude, does. He abandoned yeah. his child. He, yeah. Well, he just imagines them. Is that You think he has kids that he imagines in his house? Oh, yeah, no doubt. He's <laughs> like, this is how I'm going to raise the kid when he's born. Highly trained security experts, ready whenever you need them. Uh, fire, burglary, medical emergency, or even when just setting up the system. Simplysafe.com slash Kirk. Uh, free security camera. 60-day risk-free trial. You've got nothing to lose. That's simplysafe.com slash Kirk. Simplysafe.com slash Kirk. Uh, so do that today, please. We thank them. They've been with us almost since the start. So, yeah, we appreciate that. You play a lot of golf or no? No, unfortunately, I hurt my elbow. It's been awful. I've played like seven rounds of golf this year. I'm losing my mind, but I'm actually back. I'm like starting to feel good. Yeah. It's been awful. You know how bad it is when you want to play golf and you, you have can't. time to play and you yeah. can't? Have you been teeing it up? Not much. What happened to our... What happened? We're not talking no, I'm about just, it? I'm just kidding. We're on YouTube live. I'm just kidding. Oh. Uh, no, that guy who won the, the golden ticket yep. thing? Yeah, I never heard of it. Hates, hates the show. He doesn't hate the show. Hates the show. Hates me. Hates the show. So why do you even? Well, you're a dick to him. Well, I, I hate him. So he's not. So he will not be participating. We'll play with somebody else. All right. We'll cool. play with. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll play with Tim at some point. Who? Tim Nolan. Yeah, yeah, we'll play we'll with Nolan. Yeah, we'll, we'll go. Sure. Yeah, we'll go. Uh, I haven't played much. We could have tortured that guy for 18 holes, though. That's true. Well, I think when I when I texted uh, Ryan originally, he's like, "Fine." He's like, "Just make sure the guy's not a putt or something." And I was like, "Well, <laughs> no, I could probably hey, look. Fucked. I could probably <laughs> look it up." Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's no. If you listen to the show, whoever wins is gonna <laughs> suck. So, you know. Oh, but I mean, I, but I mean, we did it for the barstool fund. I think everybody knew that, like, I wasn't really gonna come through on these promises. I would hope when they did that, it was not in good faith. So, did you have to give him his money back? No, God, no. Yeah, suck it, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> sue me. Get in line. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What's oh, it? you want your money back that went to charity? <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Yeah, you want to help that? You know, we help some restaurant. You know, pay some bills, which I think. Watch is very I'll, nice. I'll take them. I'll play with them, and you pay I don't for care it. What uh, you do? No, what? No, thanks. Why is everything about you? Well, I'm just trying to satisfy something that you're not so you delivering think on. Playing golf with me and Ryan Winnie playing with you would satisfy. Maybe it's it would. Than nothing. Maybe no, it's not. And I would say fine. You could you caddy can. for us. <laughs> I don't want Colleen around for a round of golf. No, he'd uh, be like, dude, no, hit the seven iron, man, hit the seven yeah, iron. No, I, you know, it's a little bit of win, but you know, you can you can hit the seven four, you know, hit an easy six. I'll do whatever you want. It's fine. Uh, there's a bunker there, but don't worry about it. Like, don't even think about the bunker. <laughs> man, I swear work. to God, I didn't. You didn't
Yeah, it's downhill. So what? Yeah, it's a club bluster. Maybe it's not. I don't know. We could, You get confused sometimes. I got a compass here. Wind's coming out of the northeast. That's over there. <sighs> but I get like it was it was fun to watch uh, last week. But like the guy, the Kepkas, the Dustin Johnsons. I said this on the show. The more cows just bore me because they're fucking I robots. That kid is a machine. I know, but it's not fun to watch him. Like it's yeah. It's, I think I uh, root for him. I think that. Um, the open needs tough weather. I, I if you're, I don't no know. Question. It's just when I, I've been over there golfing. It's amazing. I actually enjoy golfing over there more than in, in North America. But I just think without watching weather, rain, wind, it's just not the might same. Well be in, might as well be in like Tucson. And or the courses are so easy without wind. Right. They're not that long because right. they have to be yeah, you know, compensate for the wind. Exactly. So yeah. that kid, though, I don't know, man. He's he's a he, he's, he's like head on the shoulders. Like he just seems like everything is going towards. Four or five majors. If there's good weather, oh yeah. If there's good weather next year at St. Andrews, those guys are going oh, to obliterate the 30 course. under. Yeah, like it's going to be a pitch and putt for them. I know. If there's wind, then it's fine. But if not, and have it's you, sunny, they're fucked. Have you ever golfed in Europe? Uh, Ireland, I did, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's sick, great. Huh? It's great. I mean, it's, it's, and you play. Um, I played with my dad a couple of places. One was in Donegal, this Lynx course. It was fucking awesome. And we had a caddy with us, and he would be like, yep, just hit it there. And you'd be like, well, you know, it's, 230 and you're giving me an eight iron he's like just hit 100, i know 100, hit 150 yards and you're like okay and then you walk up and it's like 30 feet away like, how the fuck did that happen? i know if you don't have uh, the, the one thing you I have love to have too, one. the caddies over there like you know they get the four caddies right you, they go out and you see you know you hit a good one they give you the, it's good right. they, they hit you hit one out of bounds they give you this yeah, one they yeah, hit yeah. you hit one that you're not sure he's giving you the safe and then the one time i hit one he's just like this he's like I go, what's that mean? He goes, you're fucked. I was like, you got to see it on YouTube. But he's just doing what Justin does at home when he's having phone sex. And I'm obsessed with this uh, Trent thing. I watch it every week. Oh, I watched it last night. I actually actually, uh, hadn't gotten into it. And then I saw his bunker incident. And then I saw the tweet that last night was coming. I was like, all right, let's go. I retweeted it. And I sat down to watch it. I texted Frankie. I was like, I don't know, man. I don't think he's ever, until he can like putt. He can't putt. He can't. You can't putt. Putt. You saw the, so, first, the first hole, it's a great drive. You know, good drive. It's a second shot, like a little short of the green. It's a decent flop to like 30 feet or whatever. And then hits his putt like 40 feet past it. Yeah. Like, he's, ma- he's making, he's making like, it should be a bogey and he makes the a triple. triple bogey. And it's that, like, dude, you're, fucked. you're not going to do it. So until he can figure out like around the greens and at least not, I mean, three putting's bad. He's four and five putting. Right. It's like, dude, you're not going to break 100. He, he hits the ball like a. He hits it good. Like a. Like a 95, you know, 90, yeah. 95 guy. And then he putts like 130 guy. Yeah, he he hits it. It's very straight. I play with him. It's very straight off the tee. It's short. That's okay, though. But like short. Like the one like, hole yesterday was 330 and he hit a good one and he had like 180 in. I'm like, what? <laughs> Are you like a driver? Yeah. I was like, oh, what tough. the fuck? He's a and big I, guy, too. Yeah, he's a big guy. He's got no speed in his hands. He's just like, yeah, but I, I root for him. I I'm love him. Get, he's the nicest kid. Oh, I watch he, it. That's why I'm amazed. I think I messaged him. I think I did. And I was like, your temperament is. Unbelievable. He is the most Midwest. Right. Like, do you do you remember how he got to New York? Do yeah. you remember that? Yes, story? I've heard the story. I didn't know it, but yeah. I yeah, I just yeah, I yeah. kind of was recently reminded that Dave's like, no, you're not good enough. And then right. Ohio uh, Iowa beats Michigan and he's in New York and right. he's running a golf podcast. <laughs> I would be crying if I putted like that. Oh, like, I'd quit. I, I, I'd quit. Yeah, I, that's the thing. I couldn't I used to say my my dad was not a good player. And I would say, why you know, I would never say it to him that but you keep going out, golfers. I see these golfers who go out, and maybe they just like it, but how can you like sucking a golf? Because they're like away from their wives, maybe. I guess, I, I, like, if I you suck know. at basketball or hockey, at least it's an exercise. Like you're working out. Yeah. Do, but like, if you suck at golf, people get crippled out on the course. Though they're just like, I'm going to play golf so they can have 20 drinks. That's true. I you don't know? do that. Yeah. Do you do? Do you drink out there? I used to. Uh, I used to drink like a lot more when I play. Now, not really. No. I mean, I like. I like having a, the post round beer yeah. is one of the best beers in the world. But right. when I'm playing golf now, it's more just enjoying it, trying to grind out good scores. What do you do? Like, what do you do when you're not doing the podcast? Um, well, I get two young kids. We right. got Ryder, oh, yeah. Ryder and Wyatt. They're exactly three years apart. So Ryder's three years, eight months. Wyatt's eight months. Uh, so that's right. You just had you. I think you almost. I think it was had, two weeks after Wyatt was born. I came right. in here and I that's was right. like, like I just wanted. You know, at yeah, that was, point, you're like, I could get escaped. out of the house. You yeah. were like, all right, we're done. I'm like, no, <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> no. That was, that's tough. so. Then Steve and I went out to dinner after, uh-huh. but um, yeah, yeah. yeah it was sick. He got the nachos. Um. So, you know, I spend my time without go- with golf. It's like, you know, I'm either playing golf or with the family or doing the pod. So this year without golf, I've just been spending a lot of time with the fam. I've been, we, w- we went to Nantucket a little bit, hanging out. I'm not a beach guy. I'm a pool guy. We got a pool in the yard. I spend time there. I take Ryder though. He loves golf. 
Oh, is that right? So like, I, I just like, I don't care about anything. It's, it's just, if he likes golf, I will be so happy to play golf with him. I think it'd oh, be yeah. a lot of fun. Also, that was my theory with Harry is like, he he was into it a little bit. Now he's not, maybe will be again. It's kind of a double win because you get to play golf and you look a good guy. Cause you're like, you're, you're, yeah, no, yeah. I'm all sudden, no, we're, we're seeing five hours. Oh, people at Wall Street are like, this guy's dad of the year. He's got his kid up, but they don't see me beating him if he makes right, a bogey. Right. Oh, you're like you a, want dinner? You're like Earl Woods? No, yeah, yeah. Earl Woods. I, yeah, I got a, I got I got Steve's RV. Once the trip ends, I'm just gonna be in the in the thing like Earl. What uh, a scumbag Earl Woods was. Ooh, Jesus, did you read that book or no? Yeah, I did. Wild. I did. Crazy, crazy that like what the media can do in terms of you know I knew nothing about golf. I didn't play golf growing up. Be like Earl Woods, the great father, right. and you don't know like uh, he left one family. Right. Uh, he was a serial cheater and Total like asshole. Lo lunatic, right. and you just saw like Earl Woods, the great Earl Woods. So it's interesting. What just, do you got, Colin? Anything? Did what? you see? Sorry, Colin. Don't no, ask go ahead, him. Go ahead, go ahead. Did you see? He doesn't. They're the Cleveland Guardians now. I did see their Cleveland Guardians. Yeah. The Guardians. Why, why are they called the Guardians? What are they guarding? I don't know. I don't know, dude. I just. Think I mean, it's I'm fine with like they got the, rid of the Chief Wahoo. Wahoo is gone. So, you but have like, to, but like, were you were you upset when they changed the team name? I'm not like upset. I just think it's like once you got rid of the Wahoo, I didn't think it was an issue anymore. I mean, I think some people are, oh, are very you, upset. Oh, you thought they were going to keep the team name? Yeah, I did. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh, yeah. they don't give a fuck about the issue. They saw what happened with the Washington football team. They can make merchandise money. They can sell I more know, shit. but dude, Redskins is very, very different than Indians. Yeah, but money talks. That's it. They just want to sell shit. Yeah, That's, but I mean, I, I guess. You, th you, that, think, you, think, you, think people, you think people are more likely to buy stuff? Well, initially, from the, with the well, Guardians. Well, initially they are. Yeah, they're gonna see a bump It'll initially, be, yeah. but but six years from now, I don't know. Who knows? It's a terrible name. Terrible name. I mean, would you? Would you am I gonna call them the guard? I'm never. I never talk about them. Am I gonna call them? No, the you Guardians? can't call them the tribe either. You gotta call them the hive or something. Yeah. What? Yeah. I don't understand it. That's but I thought question. I thought you'd you'd get. And then I saw the Blackhawks. It's been said. By, oh yeah. What's going on with them? I I think it's been said by somebody close to the situation that it's that's not considered bad. How was that? I, I don't know. That's that's kind of what's confusing. But I just was walking in, checking Twitter. I saw that. Guys, yeah, I did see they were doing that. Yeah, I saw that. So the the, the Blackhawks like, have the best logo in pro sports. Oh, the uh, that's a sick Blackhawks jerseys. Like the Clark Griswold jersey. Yeah, that's Christmas a great vacation. jersey. Yeah, that's a good jersey. Double zero. Double, is that what it was? Yeah, I just want the pool. <laughs> that's all he wanted. I remember that scene when he's got like the girl like showing him his thong, yeah, yeah, and then kid. like Rusty shows up. I was like, oh my god. I'll tell you this because back then, you know, eighty nine, I think it came out. That was, that was VCR. I definitely masturbated to that. Oh, scene. no doubt. No. Definitely paused it no, on VCR. No, you were in the Suburban. You had like... <laughs> <laughs> right I, when the TV went to the Suburban. We had a we we had one of those, you know, with the VCR, sometimes you get like the long, the videos that you could like tape four movies on. Yep. We had, I remember we had one that I hid underneath everything so nobody ever got it. It had the movie Tex with Matt Dillon. I don't know if you remember that one. Nope. It had the uh, We Are the World like documentary that Jane Fonda hosted. It had something else. I might have been Butch Cassidy. It had the original vacation, but I would always pause the Beverly D'Angelo shower scene. And so my parents would go to bed at night, and this is like, you know, whatever, 86, What are you, 12? Yeah, 86, 87. And I would, like, tiptoe down. I would listen. They, I would tiptoe downstairs, and I would get in, my, get in, like, my stomach. I was like, you know, like, like and I would find just it. just humping the couch. <laughs> I would. And I'd, I'd put it on there, and, I, and, I'd, and eventually, like, it began to, like, fade out. Because I would pause it so much. Oh yeah, you're like, like yeah, you're yeah, ruining yeah. this part. Yeah, yeah. like I could, <laughs> I, but I, I powered through it. It's like a I, golf grip where you yeah, hold it, right. <laughs> and I'd be like, I think that's a nipple. <laughs> I mean, when you're like, <laughs> when you're <laughs> when you're tw when you're 12, you don't give a fuck. Oh, I remember there was a music video that I had. I can't. Oh. This is so annoying. It was a guy. It was a guy on a beach. It was a. Oh my god, it's gonna drive me nuts. Oh, and this, this is going. The hottest girl of well, all you're time. What year are we talking? This is 90s. Yeah, yeah, you're young. How old are you? Uh, born in 83, 38. All right, so yeah, 39 so you're, in February. So you're talking for you like oh my God. 94, 95? Who's the good look? Oh, this is, I can't describe who it was, but the guy's on a beach with this supermodel. And then I remember finding out, like, you remember VH1 did pop up video? Yeah, yeah. He was having sex with her during the filming. I bet you was. I bet you was Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. Yes. I just yes. pulled that up. Yes. 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 Yep. And that's where I remember being like, Something's different. Because I remember Ryan, as you as you were fucking pounding it in, oh. your, in, in 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 your place, I was as an older man watching it, thinking, had I been your age, I would have, that would have been the video like yeah. in Cradle Love by Billy oh, Idol. Oh, because you were, you were old enough that you didn't want to use that anymore. <laughs> well, I was old enough that, that, that the world was beginning to open up to me. Where yeah, yeah. Pornography was, you know, you actually had like same thing. Videos. I've always told this story. 
My freshman year, this videotape got passed around. It finally got to me. And it was the first time I ever had real porn in my hands. I went down to the basement to watch it. And like, it was so gross. The girl, like her, her huge she was fat, bush. mass. Oh, she, she had fucking hair like, uh, like Gabe Kaplan. Welcome back, Cotter. <laughs> when, it, when it spread. And they're fucking, and she's got a big belly. And her wig is like falling off. And you could see zits like blood on her <laughs> oh. back. But... For me, it was like... That's realistic. Yeah, for me, I was like, oh, this is probably what it's like. I don't fucking know. Here we go. You're like, I'm never having sex. <laughs> I, I liked it. It worked for me. Oh, but yeah, my God. I, I, I remember there was like a rumor going around under this bridge and situate in the green bush. There was like Playboys, and I'm like down there with a buddy, and it's like <laughs> wet, and there's no magazines. I'm like, were they messing with me? <laughs> <sighs> what were you going to say, Colin? I was going to say, you mentioned Matt Dillon. The wild thing scene was mine. Oh, great scene. Oh, my God. How old are great you? Uh, 35. Yeah, that was a legit scene. Nev legit. Campbell and uh, uh, yeah, and Denise Richards. Denise Richards, she was money back she was in the hot. day. She's lost her mind. Oh yeah, she she snapped right. Yeah, she is she on one of those shows now? Or something? I find it hard but when people don't snap in like Hollywood. It's like at some point, they're mo most of them are going to end up losing it. Well, she was like almost. I bet you she was in movies and uh, TV shows when she was like ten or eleven. I bet. Like you do that, you're fucked. Like, oh my you're god. Fucking like imagine being like fate. You're famous, kind of. Like if you were like like this when you were eight or nine? Oh, I'd be a junkie. It's like right. it's so hard to be normal and live a normal life than when you when you from the time you're nine years old. It's the same thing with like how LeBron's such a scumbag. I think it's like you've never had anyone tell you no. He's had, his, always, he's had his balls look since he was twelve years old. I fucking I have to admit this. I it was pouring because it's been raining every day here and I took Ryder to Space Jam. Oh, how bad I was, was like, it? Did you stay awake? It wasn't it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I more just can't stand LeBron, but it was like I hated the fact that I was putting money in his pocket. Not that he doesn't, not that he needs it, but first, I, I, first I, I, active, I uh, first active to a billion, first active athlete to a billion to be worth a billion dollars. Tiger Woods made a billion. Tiger Woods isn't worth a billion dollars. Or am I wording that wrong? Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a bunch Ti of words you Tiger use there. How am I supposed to know? Wait, wait, did you say worth or made? Worth. LeBron has a billion. Well, that means he would have made. $2 I'm, I must have read that. He also, like, you're oh, fucking making that shut up. up. Dude. I, what are something you about LeBron about? and a billion, all right? He says a lot like of money. The, I feel like one of these soccer players are race car drivers too. These guys, you always oh, see yeah. them at number one in the. Ah, uh, that Schumacher. Michael Jordan. Schumacher. Is, Michael Jordan's not worth a billion dollars. Well, he said current, but he has no clue what he's talking about yeah, back there. That's true. I just saw the fair. headline and just went with it. Yeah. Oh, good. That's yeah. good reporting. Yeah, you yeah, should that, definitely. Hey, you know, oh, is, is, is it a case, 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 case going to be good? Now? Hey, you know, oh, is it a news show now? You know, you know, it's a comedy you, show. You should produce yeah. a case season two, Dave. Yeah, that's a good idea. You just call this a comedy? Is this a comedy show? I know. It is now. Fuck yeah. It wasn't before. Dave thinks he's added like laughs to the show. Yeah, he's probably added a laugh track you haven't even heard yet. It probably has. He's got so many fucking horrendous ideas. Oh, Do you Have you ever listened to one of your shows? Never. Yeah, me neither. Never. Me neither. I, I listened have. to a, I've listened to a couple chicklets things that I wasn't on, but I just I don't know. I, but I always imagine I'm like Grinelli could be taking out like I have no idea what he's yep. taken out that I've said. Oh, for sure. There's, I know. Yeah. But that's that was a big thing with Steve was he, he edited a bunch of audio. And I was like, you fucking got me. I have no idea. I mean, he, you're right. He could be in the middle of it. Be like, you just fucking go on some political rant. Yeah, I've, well, I I've said some things. I'm like, oh, I might hear get a couple tweets about that tomorrow. And then I don't hear anything. I'm like, he, he might have deleted it. <laughs> he doesn't tell you. No, but he know. You know Do you ever say I, to I him, "Hey, take that out" or no? No, no, because no. If I say it, I mean, I have enough time to think before I say it. Yeah, well, sometimes you say things in the moment, though. But it is so much different. Like when we do the show, not normally. You know, you guys are now live on YouTube. Our show usually is just us, where it's like there's no pressure. Say anything, yeah, it'll come out. Whereas right, right now, like I walked in, I was like, okay, remember they're streaming this now. True. Yeah, and I don't think about. I should. I, I don't think about that. Like, I know, but I, I, I think I, I never think. Like for, I don't, I never think about being really on. I should, but I don't. I don't. You just do it. Well, know. also, I mean, if you like live your life, and you don't say anything like that bad. Where you're, if you don't, if you're not saying things away from this that that would get you in trouble normally, like you're just not going to be that much different when you're when you get to the show. True. You know and I, I mean? Yeah. I don't know what you can really. You got to trust yourself a little. Yeah, I know, but it does feel like with the company. I mean, they leave me alone, but it does feel like they're more sensitive to stuff like that than even when I started here. Why do you hate Kelly so much? Um, I forget, but I know I do. You do hate her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. I, I know. I don't remember why I hate people, but I do know I hate her. You probably love her because, you know, you guys have a huge podcast and she kisses your ass. No. She, she doesn't get you guys guests, though. Uh, we don't, we don't need, we don't need to be given guests. She's, she's 
told us a couple people that would come on. We're just like, nah, we're all set. Like, you know, it might be a big name, but they have nothing to do with hockey. They don't watch hockey. They don't care. But let's say, like, let's say the movie Miracle got released today. And yep. Kurt Russell was the age he was then that came out today. Yep. You'd probably, would you want to have him on or no? Would you not care? Oh, no doubt. Okay, then no she'd doubt. probably help you get him on. Right or no? Uh, yeah, but we wouldn't we wouldn't want him bad enough, I think, to call her. Like, we've never called and asked for anyone. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I, I guess if she came to us, hey, I think we could get you Kurt Russell, no doubt. But it's not like we're going to be like, let's call Kelly. But I just I just laugh when you go nuts on her because, like, she's just like, <laughs> she just gets people guess. Yeah, but she, but she, like, she kind of, like, treated us like, ah, she didn't like us. I forget what, I forget the backstory. Justin would know the backstory. I don't remember it. Justin, do you remember the backstory? Hey, what? Get him on. Get him on. Justin. Uh, Wake him up. Justin. He's like a fucking bear. You're going to fucking roll him out. Why do I hate Kelly Martin? Uh, See, this is valuable to have. See, this is actually a valuable resource. Justin can tell me why I hate people. Until, until he doesn't know. This should actually be a show because I there I always forget why I hate people. <laughs> In 2019, uh -huh. uh, she was like, you can't have on. It was oh, certain right. It's not, right. It, uh, it's not true. Yes, it is. It's not true. Dave, Dave, shut up. Well, I want you to explain it. Dave, 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 on August Dave, 2nd at 3 o'clock. Dave, 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 shut up. You got your version that she told you. You don't know the truth. Go ahead. Uh, I believe it might have been Dice. Somebody like that. I forget who oh, it was, huh. and she and she got in the way of. And she was like, oh, she's like, okay, no, they're going okay. on. We we didn't reach out. We didn't, you know, bow at the knee of Kelly Martin before we. I don't think it was Dice, but it was one of these guests, and she's like, you know, no, they're they're going on KFC apartment. I take. And I was like, well, go on there. I don't give a fuck. Oh, like, okay. So yeah, if she's button into the show yeah, or whatever. It's I like, mean, well, fuck off. That she's was me. very she's very nice. Huh? To us. That was me. What do you mean that was you? Like, who was I it? booked the guest, Kathy Griffin. Kathy Griffin, yeah, right. So why didn't yes. you ask me? Why are you asking a dummy over here? Because I don't know the story. Because he didn't remember. I don't, know oh. the, I don't know the story. Well, I'm the one with the information. You're telling me I don't have the right story. Well, I just figured it out. Dave, well, you went to dinner with Erica. Big fucking deal, dude. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I mean, meanwhile, she thinks you're a disaster. Oh, great. I mean, total disaster. Oh, great. I wonder where she gets that idea from you. Nick. I've never, she's asked me about you. I've never, believe me, I say I've never volunteered information. Why would she you. think I was a disaster for Because she listens to the show, probably. Mm -hmm. You know, I maybe she doesn't think you're doing a good job. I, I, I don't know. I'm trying like to help. Her. Yeah. I'm trying to make the show better. <laughs> I mean, I don't. What do you want me to say? <laughs> you know, you're a nice guy. I don't know, Kirk. I mean, what do you mean? What do you want me to do? All right, I was just trying to help. I won't do it anymore. I mean, spitting chicklets is a, is a smooth operation. One should pay. It attention. is. It is pretty smooth. But we were talking about we gotta, you know, things over time. They just <clears throat> like you, what? you always need to add a little bit more, right? Like it's nothing like anything in particular that we're doing that we're like we can't do anymore. I think we just want to add a little bit more. Like maybe try to think of some new segments this off season. Just try to just try to grow the show. It's like if uh, what grow is the, the what show? Is it? Adapt or die, right? We, we putting like bits? No, no, not putting bits. Not putting bits. We haven't even really talked about it. Biz was mentioning just maybe trying to think of some stuff we could do once a week just to change it up a little bit. Maybe do lift, did a little different interviews, some something like that. I mean, I, I I'm I'm under the impression like yeah, it's going great. Let's not change a thing. But in the end, you gotta you gotta adjust. You know, made me laugh. This is what I forgot. I was texting you. Was it Clay Travis that Portnoy had on? You went after him about? Oh my god! I mean, how embarrassing was that, dude? That was the. And what's funny is he said I walked into that office looking to fight. I was not even going to bring up the Clay Travis thing because I've been positive. I've been trying not to argue with him. And then sure. he goes in and he's like, you're blowing troops about soccer. And I just like blew a gasket. I'm like, you fucking loser. You just interviewed your all-time enemy and we're just sucking each other's dick. Who's going to have 500 million oh, first? It was, it was it was, it was, was a tough look for him. And now he has a goddamn tattoo. Oh, I know. We talked about it the other day. We had, his, his, we had his dad on the other his day. His girlfriend's initial. Yeah, that's that's not going to age well in retrospect, I don't think. I mean, I, I, I've never talked talk about a man's relationship. No, I'm sure, oh, I'm sure she's I mean, very this, nice. This is know. a guy who's one of... I, mean, I don't even know how to describe how famous he is now. Like, I, I, I walk, we walked um, probably a 20-minute walk. R.A., Biz, myself, Elio, and Dave. We went out to a couple drinks and just like some food before we did a live stream during the right. uh, playoffs. Yeah. And we walked 20 minutes in New York. And New York's one of those places, you know, it's like you don't really... No, like, you, celebrities don't get recognized. No, like, right. Every single person <laughs> knows who he is. And you, even the people who don't yell at him, once he walks by, they do the turnaround. Like, right. was that him? And so this guy probably could have his pick of any girl he wants right now on the oh, internet. Sure and he's, he's got a fucking tattoo of his girlfriend. He's in love. Initial. He's in love. I know. My That's why I'm, not gonna say, so I'm not going to say a thing. He's in love. I'm happy for him. I'm not going to say a thing. I mean, is she going to be the Yoko owner of the company? Who knows? Who knows? Who's to say? Who knows? Say, Dave, you know, I mean, you shouldn't be so angry. Don't be so... Her tattoo is the one that disappears in three weeks. She's <laughs> right, like, yeah, you got to get it done by this guy. Oh, it's Clay Travis a bore, too. Holy shit. 
I listened. So Jerry told me to listen to his the show he's doing with Jerry's boy, uh, uh, Buck Sexton. Buck. Yep. So I listened to some of it. Clay it's, Travis it's, is fucking awful. It's all what a politics, drip. Right? Yeah, and he's just boring. And one guy talks, and the other guy talks, and the other. No, you're right. No, it's fucking brutal. Yeah, you gotta brutal. have uh, you gotta have some back and forth and stuff like that. I mean, I, I would imagine like a good show would be a Democrat and a Republican, right? They yeah. don't do that. Well, what, what's are ha- there shows with that? Not anymore. I think what's happened is like whether it's MSNBC on one side or Fox or people like Jerry or people like the Jerry of the Democrats, they, they have figured out that the listeners don't actually want to hear debate. They just like the hardcore Republicans just want to be told what they want to hear. Same with the fucking right. hardcore liberals. Right. Thank you. I don't, I don't know why that is. I don't know. I, I know. I don't. Our old show that we did on EEI was, you know, we would bring in liberals and we'd fight with each other. I'm more of center and Jerry's nuts and, it was fun. It got uh, reaction. I don't understand. Yeah, don't now it's it. just like agree, agree both sides. And I feel like that. The, I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe that is what they want to hear. I, I feel like people want the arguments and the beefs. And I'm the same way. I, I will say Dave with that guy on uh, when he called him an idiot. What do you call him? Oh, uh, that, that uh, was, shithead? No, was it a, a pussy? I think he... Bitch. Bitch, 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 bitch. <laughs> That's bitch. good. I mean, that's good TV. Yeah, but then, the a... fucking, then the guy fucking said that, did you see what happened after? No. So the guy uh, goes in some interview and he's like, yeah, he's like, because then Dave said something about him. He's like, I've never heard him say that about a white person. Oh, like, oh what the yeah. fuck, and then, and, then, and then in what you thought was a good, fun segment, it's like, okay, now right. I, I guess we're never doing it again. Yeah, now it's over. I'm a racist. Right. That, and you can't, you know, when someone, you can't come, what are you going to say? Like, yeah. That's... I'm not a racist? Okay, great. Um, Clay Travis, though, I mean, like... I would love to know how much money he is making. I mean, he's, he's probably killing it. He he probably is. Yeah. And for for a guy who's, yeah, like you said, he's not that he tri- interesting. He, he tripped on an idea. He was kind of like, oh, you know, what? I'll call, talk college football. Let's just do politics. And I know. I'm younger and his base because college football is probably already a really conservative base anyway. So then he just rolled into that southern thing, and it's he's just playing a character. He's making a lot of money, but good for him. I know. I did I did a show. You went down, on with him? Uh, well, th- this is when I was actually. Still at Entercom after I left DEI, I was doing a week of shows with Dave in Minnesota, maybe Atlanta. I forget. I don't know wherever I was doing shows with them. And Clay Travis wanted me on, so I on his radio show. Nice guy, but he's the biggest drip I've ever it, talked yeah, to. Yeah, it's like, dude, say something to yeah. me, chirp me. Yeah, and he's kind of like, Ugh. he's got that big voice. I'm like, oh, get the fuck away from me. The radio but, voice. Yeah, the big loud thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, oh god, fucking go away. Jesus, what are you looking at, Colin? Uh, no, I was going to ask you. Did you hear Portnoy talk about retiring? Did you hear that on the podcast? This oh, week? I did. I wanted to get your take <laughs> oh on that. Oh my God! So he says he's oh, just going to disappear. This, no, this is the thing where I did where Dave's like, I'll just, I don't care. Not, 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 not some big. And poor Eddie, you could tell Eddie wants to be like you're fucking full of shit. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie's starting getting a little better. He's you know, getting a little better yeah. in terms of like challenging him and, and giving him shit. The thing about Dave is you can fucking shit on him. Like, he wants you he, to. Yeah, like Eddie, I could tell is so, yeah, you're right. He's starting to feel his. his but he's also it's it's the mid it's it's the trend. It's like they're just nice. They're just very nice guys. We're not nice. We're just like mean. And I think that when I heard Dave say that, he will make Jeter's fucking retirement tour look like a disappearance off the earth. Oh, he's he's gonna be like when we were little and Kareem again. The fucking every city. Dave's gonna go in every city, every town in America, and have a day for him. Oh my god, he's gonna be shouting from the rooftops. I'm retiring in three years. Get it going now. He might, might do that. I don't even think he'll ever. Like, if Dave retires, right, and he's not, you know, every day running content, doing everything, he'll still be in the mix, dude. He's, he ain't go, it's not like he's disappearing. You don't think he loves it? You don't think he loves the... the of course. It's like, dude, he's not going anywhere. You might hear, not hear from every day, but he'll be dropping videos and rants on major subjects because he loves being in the mix. What happens What happens if he goes away? What happens to Barstool? Nothing. I mean, you know... At it, this point... There's like five standalone brands at this point, right? That can make it on their own. Who? Like, what do you got? Uh, These see, guys, obviously. Chicklets, yeah. part of my take. Right. Uh, foreplay. Right, for sure. <laughs> you tell me. What's um, next? Yeah. I don't know. I think I, I what think do you mean? I, like, what yeah, do you, what you would. I think, I think my life would roll on. You're, I think I'd be all right. Be fi- what do you mean? If, if Barstool, like, was gone, these things would be gone also? Kirk, yeah, well, Kirk showed up with a built-in audience, too, and then grew it from there. You have the built-in hockey audience, golf. I'm trying to think. Oh, there's, I mean, there's oh, other the podcasts. the company is, like, bigger those, than those, that. Those, no, chi- those chicks in the office wouldn't be going anywhere. They're Not really true. popular now. Yeah, they're, um, they're, they're, the company would stay, but... Barstool Chicago wouldn't be... They'd be on... The, they, what are you talking about? No, you know what would make me furious? Before you get furious in a second. But I like, know. but like, oh, the, no. <laughs> but like, the company would still stay there, and Dave would. Dave's the idea that Dave's gonna go away and like have a part time job at some fucking you know restaurant somewhere. Just like you know, he's like, not going anywhere. He's, I will tell you this. I'll tell. I'll tell Ryan this because he's here. I haven't said this to anybody. There's no way I'm fulfilling all three years. One of these days, I'll be gone. 
Yeah. Oh, you're, you're just. Well, I'll yeah, be gone. But I'll be gone. Like gone, gone, gone. I'm. I'm mean, maybe really gone. Hopefully not. And this but, will be my surprise phase. <laughs> right, okay. I'll just be like, you, you, you'll be like, oh, you know, what? Oh, he has another pot. Oh, I guess you. I guess he's. That's he's, why I try to listen to all the minute hand shows. Like, you never know. It's, it's this could be the last one. No doubt. Like if I if I'm here in a a year, probably two years, I would say. I hear a fucking train go by. I start shivering. I'm like, <laughs> no, I need more shows, Kirk. Don't do it to me. How dare you? How dare you? I was actually running the other day, and I saw a train go by. And I was like, you know, that would have hurt. You're like, oh man, I don't actually. I don't know if you feel a thing. Is that a, you daring me? I know. Hey, fuck let's fucking, change the subject. We fucking, need this show to continue. Is that a fucking challenge? <laughs> <laughs> let's go right now. Let's go. <laughs> uh, how has been the um, the trips you guys have been doing? You go up to Saco, right? Or you, no? Uh, so we go. We were in Madawaska. A few Madawaska. Weeks ago. Yeah, we're in Saco. Uh, what about? Uh, is it a month from today? Oh, this is this is the other thing. Are you doing a sh- sorry? Are no, you doing fine. a show? Are you just doing this show there? Yeah, pretty much. And how many people? Got like a couple hundred people show up. Like, what yeah, is I think we did one day of tickets. We'll have like a thousand people. No there. way. I think we sold like th- what three hundred tickets, Dave, or yep. whatever. And so it's right. like three or four people a car. That's awesome. Drive in. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, so I did this. Chicklets on, doesn't do live shows, just to let you know. Well, they will eventually. What, yeah, you, they what, don't, what did you just say? But they don't. So, what are you, you guys talk- don't do live shows? What are you talking about? What about these watch alongs he was just talking about? That's not a live show. That's like you sell tickets to shows. Chicklets hasn't entered that live event. You think they have a problem selling tickets for these Dave, shows? I'm Dave, just saying that Dave, they don't do it. Dave. I didn't make any opinion. I'm just letting you know they don't do it. Dave. I don't know that. Bef- a month before COVID hit, we had a thousand people watching us do a live show in, in Dallas. Yeah, but did you sell tickets to it? It was just like a, what, didn't, wasn't it at a bar? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, you said you did, they don't do live shows. We did a live show. Oh. Okay. A different version of a live. You're show. fucking okay. dumb. Dude. I'm just, hey, I'm just putting it out there. That's but, all. But you said we didn't do something that we do. Okay. I didn't. I guess uh, I didn't know. Uh, I guess uh, I didn't uh, know. Uh, 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 anyway. Exactly. Uh, so I, I did this specifically on a Saturday in August because I knew a Sunday in August is SummerSlam, and Harry would want to watch SummerSlam with me. Fucking turns out, Dave. You didn't tell me this. SummerSlam's on Saturday this year. No, but it's at oh, night. No? It's the same night as the live show. Oh, I, yeah, I didn't take that seriously. Oh, yeah. dude, you're not a good dad. <laughs> I don't say that, please. I try. It makes me so <laughs> upset. I, I was like, oh, because so the other thing is that they're selling tickets at movie theaters for SummerSlam this year. You can watch it. So we bought tickets yesterday, Harry and I together, uh, for Showcase Cinemas. We're all fucking excited. I see the date. I'm like, oh, no. fuck. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. I want to cancel it now. Honestly, I'm like, oh, you'd be fucking shitting me. Oh, uh, and. Will you take question and answers from the fans the way they call in here or not? Uh, no, we just do the show. It's at the drive-in. They'll be on the big screen. Yeah. Uh, we might. Maybe we'll take some calls or we'll see. We'll see how we're, uh, you know, I don't know. We can pass a mic around to the people there. I don't want to do that. Okay. What's going to happen that. with the lawsuit? With the Carl? Yeah, for Justin. I think Justin's fucked. Like, I would say. Thir- I'm so interested to see what, because they're not, Dave said we're not settling. Right. right, so that's right. awesome. Right, so I'm like, what the fuck will happen? Like, could she actually? Well, before you got here, we called her lawyer today. Okay, show. she hung up. But I would, I don't, I don't. I've spoke to a bunch of lawyers, and as they always say, look, anybody can sue, and anybody can, anybody can win or lose. But it seems very unlikely that she, she has a case. But we'll see. I don't know. I mean, it's nuts. She's fucking crazy. But like, if if she were to win, and get over a thousand dollars, like right. that would that like that would be like what the fuck's going on in this world? Like <laughs> right. if she somehow wins and they give her seven hundred bucks, like all right, whatever. That's I a mean, win maybe, for us. It's yeah, like so when, it's uh, content and she looks like a fool. What was the USFL suit like a dollar, whatever that? Remember? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I but I don't know. I don't understand what. I, like I, I'll be. I want this to go to court because I want to hear a case. I just want to know what the case is. You know, I, they the lawyer hung up on us, right? How yes. many people yeah. bought that book? Imagine how bad that book is. I bought it. Right oh, there. let me see. Yeah, I read it. You read it one day? No, but look, like for the, I'll just give you the bar look, notes. You know, I had a barstool chapter. Dude, uh, are those pages stuck together? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not, it's not oh relevant. shit! It's not. It's not relevant to the <laughs> it's, conversation. It's, it's, it's the same thing as Chris Isaac's Wicked Game. <laughs> I mean, at its core, technically true. Both female. I, she's, I, let I'm me not, see. I, let I'm me not, see. Okay, here you go. I'm not gonna. You got it. I'm not gonna. Uh, <clears throat> Sideline sports culture and being a woman in America. Now the funny thing is, I think one of you guys said it. If if Big Cat hates you, you are a I think bad da- I think Dave said being. that. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, yeah, sorry. If yeah, that was on his podcast. If right. Big Cat doesn't like you, you're a legit piece of shit. But I I really honestly, whatever you think of her physically, I you need... read this whole thing, Justin, in one day, and you <laughs> suck my peen, bitch. <laughs> and he's gonna read it again in Sako. Oh my. Oh, Dave, God. we gotta figure that out. So what time? In Saka, what time are we going to let the let the masses in? Um, I think actually Justin is going up tomorrow too. I right, put them on for yeah, a second. Justin, yeah. come here. 
It's never easy being the only. He said one anytime we. He said anytime we want. I think he said as early as two o'clock in the afternoon, okay. even earlier. There you go, Justin. Are you? What is he doing? Do you I think you'll be able to say Sigourney? Uh, we'll find out. What? What? So you're going up to Saco tomorrow? Yes. What is your goal? Uh, I'm gonna get like the technical aspects, like what we need to bring, take okay. pictures of things. Okay. Um, what in your mind, how, it took you seven hours last time? I think maybe a little under <clears throat> seven hours. And the show will probably start when I get there. I'll say hi to everyone. We'll, what time did we start last year? Uh, they seven? say it should start around like 8.30ish due to the like the darkness. Due to yeah. the darkness? Yeah, that's when we started last year. Okay, it's later this year though. Is it not? A couple like weeks. It, like it'll be, what time is the sunset in Saco on August 21st, Dave? Well, let me look it up. So in your mind, Justin, let's say we start at eight just for argument's sake. You will, and I want you to, I want you reading that to nobody for like a good hour. Got it. Like in my mind, I want people pulling in and hearing They're like, you. like, what's going on Right, here? hearing you in the middle of the, you know, whatever. So to have you be done and then I make my way around, what time would you need to start? 11. 11. Done at 6. Maybe 10. 10. It'll Maybe. take seven hours? It took him seven yeah, hours last time. It's reading it's, out loud. It's hard. Lawyers wanted, by the way, I tell you this day or Justin, lawyers wanted to know if we had the... The YouTube still. And I said it got taken down. Like, is any any way to have it? Uh, my understanding is the only way is if they reach out to YouTube, correct? Are you? Uh, 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 do you want us to answer that question? Or sure. Like, what do you mean? I, I'm not. I'm not looking to hide anything. Oh, here. we have it. Oh, you have the entire thing? Yeah. Oh, oh well, video, somebody, just you know what's cool? Actually, somebody submitted it on the voice messages portion of Minifan HQ. Fantastic. We'll it was actually it, convenient. We'll send it to. Okay. We'll send. We'll send it to the lawyers then. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Barstool Sports is an insidious online community of men and sadly some women. So if, if you're a woman and you like Barstool, you're you're, you're a legit. You, you hate women. Then. Piece of shit. Right. Yeah. She 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 selectively likes women. Oh, you bring that home, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna actually give it to my wife. Say, bodily, you, a you, woman's bodily anatomy. Substantial. Substantially have help and Mendoza graciously graciously accept it. They can often hide behind anonymity sports <laughs> twelve hundred word diatribe. It is characterized it like by sexist beatrol, incontroversible <laughs> traversable the reporter's job security. Suck my peen, bitch. <laughs> this will be in court. What hopefully. is Justin's beginning into this world? What what it how did how did His you get origin it? story? Yeah, like what? You you were I have, big. Were you, I have no idea. Were you a big Manahan fan on EEI? No. So you just had never listened to the show. He starts. We were a Barstool fan. Yes. And then he got the show. You gave it gave it a shot. New podcast and just loved it. I just loved it. No and, way. Yeah, it was the Curtitone stuff. How did you not uh, like? Did you know anything about EEI and the Callahan and Kirk show? Or? I listened to the Sports Hub. I okay. Never listened to like Kirk many Sports. people in this city now. Certainly true. Um. Okay, so you'll get there. So you, we're, you're going over technical stuff? Yes. I like so you, the you, plug-in stuff, like what we need. Why is the producer not going on this trip? I thought you were a little harsh on these guys this week about the mini golf. <laughs> Here's what you think. I think that you should because in the end, they're uh -huh. just growing your brand. Yeah, you think, you think if these two guys play fucking mini golf, one more person will send us what are you guys I talking I, I about? I think it could. I think. I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're just saying. I'm words. just saying for you to get that mad at that was a crazy thing. You must have been having a bad day. Like, they're two mutants, but like, if they play mini golf, who gives a fuck? But it was more, it was more sort of, you know, the overall definition of how useless they've been. If they were not doing the work you needed to do them to do and doing that, yeah, lose your mind. But if they're still doing everything for you and then on the side, it's like, who cares? Well, It'd be different. like if no, I was no, mad no, no, about... No. But here's where you're wrong, though, because they're doing it like as an idea on their own, whatever. They're doing it more as an idea of like how to help the show. That's what bothers me. That's the ideas they come up with to help the show. That's not true. That's what bothers me. If, we, that, if that's true, then maybe he, maybe the man is right. Before Justin even said it, we talked about not doing that idea before the show. I well, told him that it. was what not you, the Okay, well, he Because said you put it. him on the spot. You put him and you said, what's some ideas? Okay, so what put, about this? What about this? He said it. Oh, one second. He I'm said defending it. him. You I, put I him on care. the spot. He, he said it on the wrap-up show. I didn't ask him anything. He said it on the wrap-up show. Was I on the wrap-up show that day? No. Was I? No. no. Okay, then what the fuck are you talking about? Nothing. Then shut up! Dave, you have made the dumbest points today. Three <laughs> times so you've stupid. said something that's totally wrong. What if they played mini golf with Frank the Tank and Dougs, and then at least you might get some fans of them. That's their that's idea. Then that's go... Their idea. What? Sure. That's their idea, right? Like, they've been talking about that for a long time. Oh, so their idea is mini golf, Who's but, their but your idea is mini golf. What the fuck are we you talking about? We already said that the mini golf was a bad no, idea. I said And that. I just said play with other Barstool personalities. And if I and if I didn't say that, you guys would be out at fucking Hago Harrington today playing fucking that mini golf. That is not true. That they'd is not at, true. They'd be at McGolf trying to fucking read up some DeCaro news, make a birdie. Right. 
Meanwhile, there's some crazy thing to be going on. And you'd be like, oh, I'm on the fucking 14th hole. Don't bother me. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. I got, fin- got a slow group in front of I'm us. I'm in the rocks. I got yeah, a yeah. penalty stroke. Jesus Christ. So you'll do that. Yes. Okay. And then, uh, all right. So what time did people come in last year? I believe the doors opened at like three-ish. Okay. Does that make sense this year or no? If well, you're going to be reading. If, if I'm reading it starting at 10 or 11. Well, then you're way in at that point. No? Oh, yeah. oh no. Then, then that makes sense, I guess. Right? Or no? Yeah. Uh, Meanwhile, we're not broadcasting it to anybody for the first, like, no one's going to hear it until they get in there. Oh, it's not being broadcast? No, 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 no. No, you just have to do it. You got to do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to do it, and then they're going to come in at, like, three. Okay. You'll be, re- okay. Yeah, that's good. I think people want to take pictures around you. <laughs> but I do think there's big parts of the book where they're going to want to shove along with you, yeah, too, Yeah, I think, though. like, the suck my peen thing is going to be. How far into it is that? That's important. I want everyone I to yell no suck idea. my peen bitch together. You don't know what page it's on? You no, can get I, a no, thousand no. people to be screaming, suck my peen. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. on the big screen, That'd too. That'd be your big moment, Justin. Right. You can fucking retire happy after that. I think so. And wealthy. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Until, right. until he has to pay the lawsuit. That's true. Yeah. That's going to suck. We'll go to jail for it. Do you pay his salary? Yes. Comes out of your salary. Yes. Yeah, so all right. You got is, the right to get mad at him then. Is that the same with you in, money. in Grinelli or no? No. I don't pay out of my money for G. Shrewd. I know, Fucking seriously, true. I'm not sharing. The studio is out of my money, Cullinane. The studio? The studio, yeah. So they just gave, like, your salary is your budget. Uh, Kind of, and then he cool. chose well, no, you no, it comes out of my Well, it comes out of my ad rep slice. Okay. Yeah. What are you guys doing, four or five ads an episode? Yeah, we have three this week, I think, though. Um, but, you have three, but you have three episodes a week, right? Yeah. Ever yeah, since we've got so. Cullinane, the ads have been going down. Oh, sure. No shit. Please. Down. And the, and the fucking price is, like, in the toilet right now. Oh, my God. Five bucks for this read, I think. No, I think it's fine. How many do we have for next week, Dave? Uh, I think five, actually. You can get a bundle of 20 ads for $35. <laughs> no, we're very happy. 35 Speaking grand? No. Speaking dollars. of Justin, we're very happy BetterHelp is back this week. Uh, you go to betterhelp.com slash Kirk10. You customize online therapy. You don't seem like a guy who would ever go to therapy. Or am I wrong? Me? Au contraire. Me? Right. Yes. Oh, I've, I've, I've talked to people before, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Why, are you, why are you answering for him, Dave? I, just, I know. Dave, shut Dave, the you're not, fuck Dave, you're not up, on the dude. show. Oh, right. Dude, how bad do you want to be a part of this show? Well, you're behind a, the glass if producing if, it. If you're good enough, you'd be on this side. I That's take life. it back. It was better with Steve. I agree. Fucking leave, Dave. What do you mean? What do you, what do you, you've been going you, lately or no? Um, no, I've had different times where I've seen a guy when I retired. I talked to this, this amazing person. His name is Dr. Steve Durant. You can read about him. You can Google, Google an article about him in the Boston Globe. He was a rugby player and uh, lost an eye. You know, okay. on on the field, right? Yeah. And then he got into, you know, uh, he helps out, works with the Bruins, works with the Red Sox, <laughs> sports psychology. He also, most of his work is done with um, soldiers coming back with PTSD. So he does some right. amazing things. But he was friends with a family friend of mine. So I just went and talked to him, right? You retire from sports. You're going through a lot, different changes in your life. And um, it was great to talk to him, right? And I've talked to him different times. And there's times I go through things. Like, I think everyone does. I, I, I refuse to... Oh, no, I shouldn't say everyone. But I think a high percentage of people have times when it would definitely help to talk to somebody. Uh, better help. I've heard a lot about you talking about them. We haven't... We might have had a couple ads with them. Yeah. But uh, either way, I'm a huge... Is it proponent? Yes. Fan? Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm a fan of talking to someone, letting them know what's going on. Because well, how old were you when you retired? So... It'll be six years in September. I'm turning... Dude, I was 30. 30, 32? Jeez. 31, 32? That is young. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I was lucky enough to make a lot of money. So, like, there's guys who retire and they got to, you know, panic. Like, I got to make a living. I didn't really have that, but I did have the, this is all I know. I don't know anything else. I feel like a weirdo. You're talking to people about adult subjects. You're like, uh, what's that guy's contract? I don't know what you're talking about. So, right, right. just getting back into um, not... You know, not having sports as part of your life anymore. It was tough. <clears throat> Betterhelp.com uh, slash Kirk10. Uh, Customize online therapy. Again, video, phone, even live chat. You know, I've been through. Ryan as well. You know, yep. I've, I've had, in my life, obviously, I've battled mental health, suicidal thoughts, paranoia for people following me. And Ryan, people like Ryan Whitney have gone through things even worse. He couldn't skate anymore professionally. Yeah, my, like my, my, my ankle broke. I had to see four different doctors. Yeah, I mean, these things can happen to anybody. You know, I was in the padded walls and, you know, couldn't move for three days. But at the same time, I, you know, Ryan couldn't fly private anymore. I, didn't, I, I couldn't get the best table at the club anymore. <laughs> right. and, 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 you know, you got to talk to somebody to get well, through People that. struggle in different ways with this. And BetterHelp's there for you. <laughs> BetterHelp.com slash Kirk10. In reality, much more affordable than in-person therapy and Within 48 hours, that's the big, to me, the big difference. If you're trying to find a therapist right now or so, you're screwed uh, traditionally. It's so hard right now, but BetterHelp, this is where they're great. 
uh, under 48 hours. You get some unbiased feedback, which you're going to need, and it's, you're going to gain from it, guaranteed. Betterhelp.com slash Kirk10. All right, what else? Did you guys make anything of Deion Sanders' outburst earlier in the week just because he's a barstool colleague? I, mean, can I, say, I, I didn't think, see can, it. Can I say I think the guy's a dick? Like, am I allowed to say that? I actually, yeah. I always thought Dion was a dick, and I, like, you know, as he as as he was as an athlete, but I've just heard everyone at Barstool say he's a great guy. So I've I know, of, I know, but, like, my, I, I met him once at the Super Bowl, one of the three biggest assholes I've ever met. Maybe a little bit of a... He looked like, at me if like, you can't help me, like, what, I don't give a fuck like, about like, you. I'm, I'm thinking he treats Eric and Nardini differently than you treat Justin Trudell. I don't know, dude. Just a guess. He, he's a big fan of people who can read out loud. That's true. That's well. That's why he hates Justin. <laughs> okay. I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's a, a wonderful guy. But he's like, super you know. nice to some of the people who've been down there. Like Glenny Balls. He loves Glenny Balls. Yeah, but he knows. So, like, so the he, thing, is, yeah. So the thing is now that he's like, all right, this is kind of my team. I'm gonna be nice to everyone. Whereas before, I I, I could buy that, no doubt. But I was, didn't see what you're talking about, Dave. Well, you one want, second. You want to hear? Yeah, but uh, yes. But at the Super Bowl, he looked at me. He gave me like the. You understand, like you're. A piece of shit, and I'm Deion Sanders, right? Yeah, like, you're, you're talking a prime. Dude. Yeah, Warren Sapp was the same way. He's the worst one ever. He, Warren Sapp was looks... literally the worst human being I've ever dealt with. I remember being in Indianapolis at the Super Bowl there for EI.com, and I was waiting for a taxi with Rob Bradford, the late Rob Bradford. And he Warren died? Sapp, he did, yeah. I told Fuck, he, how? Yeah. Huh? How? He had uh, David Ortiz's cock, like, right. <laughs> He, he is, he, and then Carabas yeah, came over Carabas, and was like, yeah. that's my dick. Well, yeah, so Rob didn't die from that. Right, Carabas in the jealous rage killed saw him. him and fucking killed him. And the judge was like, oh. I, like, oh, that's kill. the Carabas thing. He's on steroids, no doubt. Well, or, of no, course no, he no, is. no, no, I'm sorry. He's willing to do the test now because he's off them. He he's, was, off, he's on the off cycle. He right was now. on steroids. Right, somebody said the same thing to me. So he's on the off part. He right was now. on steroids. And you can't, like, you can't. Do the thing with Justin was like, yeah, anytime you want, just let me know. Yeah, because I'm off. It has to be like a two-year window or something, right? Yeah, just go ahead. What was I saying? Warren Sapp, scum. Oh, so we're in Indianapolis. I'm in line with Bradford. And Warren Sapp, there's a cab there, literally pushes the two of us out of the way. No. <laughs> he does. Oh, he bitch slapped you guys. He goes into the cab. And we're both like, did that just happen? <laughs> that just fucking happened. <laughs> just like, we didn't even know. Like, it was like a, it, we didn't even know we were talking. And like, hands just, boom, just shoved us out of the way. I think at the Super Bowl later on, that's when he got caught with like the prostitutes or whatever, I think. Yeah, he does not come off as a great no, guy. Everyone, you talk to everybody, he's universally. And, you know, maybe Deion Sanders is a really nice guy. I got him a bad day, but boy, I've heard that from a lot of people that he's an asshole. But maybe he's not. And, you know, I've just heard Dave say he thought that. And yeah, then, but like, but like you said, Dave. he's talking to Dave. Yeah. Talking to, I mean, you know, I, I, I don't know. But yeah, so we had a. He had the press conference for the team he coaches. Yes, and he was right. just being asked a question. Is he still, like, at Barstool? I don't even know. Yeah, he does. Well, he. Yeah, he's still at Barstool. He still has their, his podcast. And oh, then yeah, yeah. Dana, yeah. I was talking to Dana Beers. He's like been behind. They're filming. They're going to drop a huge, like, kind of a. Oh, yeah, yeah, what yes. is it? What is the HBO one? Hard Knocks. Hard Knocks of, of his team. And maybe he's a great guy. And maybe my experience with him was, I don't know, but, you know, I've heard a lot of it. What us. is this? So somebody called Sus. him. Oh, somebody called Europe. him Dion, right? Yeah. The, the media day. Monday. Sus, you're up. Hey, Dion, I was just wondering if you could... Uh, oh, hold on, let's back up a little bit. You don't call Nick Saban Nick. Don't call me Dion now, okay? Like, I call Nick Saban Nick. Yeah, you don't. Dion. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, That's a lie. Oh, you, if you call Nick Nick, you know you get cussed out on the spot. So don't do that to me. Treat me like Nick. Okay, Dion. <laughs> um, right. Just, uh... And he walks away. He That's walked a walked tough, yep. tough mm -hmm. look. I mean, well, the kid, the guy's a dick for calling him Dion the last shot. No, there. he's not. No, uh, they're both men. What the? Why well, then? Just don't oh call him my, anything. Oh asked, my god! You wanna, he asked you wanna to call be, him coach. You think he's a dick for calling him Dion what's the he, second what's time? What's you don't call people coach. If you're a reporter, you wouldn't call him coach. Uh, no, he's not his coach. He's a coach so of the what? team that they, you're covering. They, they you should call, call him coach. They, and by the way, and by no, way, they, and, and, no, they shouldn't. And they're in the media. Day. They call him Bill, Bill Belichick, yes. don't they? Yeah, they don't call him coach. Some do. They're ass kissing suckwads. Oh, I don't like they, that. I would they, call they, him coach. Well, I'm, you're, I'm, you're in, I'm in agreement with Kirk. They, He's not their coach. And meanwhile, somebody put a tweet up. The guy called Nick Nick eight times last year. Yeah, I saw the, that the, too, the yeah. guy, the fucking reporter. Every single coach I had in the NHL was called their first name by the reporters. Yeah, and and maybe you would maybe you would call. Would you call him coach or no? That must have been weird when you're an adult. I remember who'd you have for coach? Tom Rennie, I called Tom. No, right. we no, no, I never called the coach coach. Like as a kid, you do. Yeah, as a kid, you do. Right. And, and and that guy, I think it's great that he said Dion again because he's at least he's standing up yeah, for himself. Fuck you, Dion. Exactly. Fuck you, Dave. All right, no, I've adjusted my opinion. You oh, guys sorry, are right. sorry. No, no, no. Yeah, sorry, producer. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it feels even weird. Hey, producer. The only one is a doctor. For some reason, that feels okay. Yeah, doctor, because they've they've earned it, right? I guess. Or I mean, or uh, or judge. Yeah, I hate that too, though. I hate that 
you have to stand up when they walk in the room. Like if oh, do you, what, when they walk in the courtroom, not when they walk in like this office. I don't think so. No, I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know that. But but like but like you know, it just seems strange. They wear gowns. It's fucking bizarre. It's yeah. fucking bizarre. But like I heard that, I was like, what an asshole. That's Honestly. a that's a way tougher look than than uh, prime time than it is the reporter. I believe way tougher. He that's wasn't like, even being. It wasn't like. That was no rudeness at the beginning. He's like, Dion. And I think people do say Nick. To I know guys say shape. Bill. I mean, some call him coach, and they sound weird because you're not his fucking coach. And by the way, is he comparing himself to Nick Saban? That's the other thing. Like, what, I mean, where does he coach? Good good try, though, Dave. Jackson State. Oh, sorry, producer. No, but I just don't want him to, like, I think a reporter acting all buddy-buddy with the first name seems weird. I, it's, I, not, so, it's not buddy-buddy. So you want him, you want him to if he called him prime. Men. If he called him prime, it's being buddy-buddy. Yeah, okay, that's fair. That's I mean, fair. I'm guessing the, the guy was an adult. Yes. He has pubic hair and shit. Yeah, I'm sure. This so guy, is Dion. He I mean, will like, not stick by his opinions. No, he's a fucking... That's the man. craziest thing about you, Dave. You just give in. No fight. No argument. Well, I mean, I fought back in the moment, and then you guys convinced me. What's wrong with that? We're having a conversation. I, I just would never let anyone... I would have called him coach. I'm just telling you that. But I think you guys are making me feel like but I'd be an asshole coach, doing though. something. No, but he's a coach of the team I'm covering. But you guys make... If that's the play, then that's the play. You call the guy at Subway sandwich artist? No. So, I mean, like, I got I don't call him by his first name, though, either. I say thank... He's I don't got, call him by anything. Well, he's a tag on... On the tag, does it say, you know, does, it says his name, right? Yeah, but I don't... I don't say... They're name tags, not job tags. Well, I don't look. I'll say, like, thank you, Bob. Right. Well, you could, though. That'd yeah. be nice of you to thank the guy yeah. by his well, first I, name I, after... I thank him. What, are you better than him? Dude, no, you know but Dave gets, him. like, chicken finger subs, too. He absolutely orders, like, a nine-year-old. <laughs> oh, so do I. I do. Did you go to the grocery store yesterday, Dave? Uh, I did pop in, yes. What'd you get? Uh, I actually made pizza at home last night. So I got oh, pizza homemade dough. pizza? Yes, pizza oh. dough. Yeah. Oh, I listened to that. I couldn't agree more with you, Dave. I'm 100%. Go get the groceries that afternoon. Yep. Quick little trip, quick little hit. And then you don't buy all the stuff that you never cook. Exactly. But here's the thing. If you disagreed, he'd then agree with you. He'd be like, no, place. man, I, I'm going to start going once a week. I've never been to the grocery store. I, I don't go. I've never been there. It's just for losers. What are you talking about, man? I went one time in a month and I got $4,000 worth of food. Hey, grocery store guy, can you help me? <laughs> hey, deli man. Hey, stop and shop truck driver. Uh, my name's Rick. No, no I, cover your, I cover your team. <laughs> yeah. I'm not calling you your first name. I love that guy. That's my favorite reporter in America right now. He's only like fucking balls. Yeah, until you have him on here, he's just boring you know, as you know, shit. I would never talk to him. But then Dion fucking storms out like a child. He stormed out because he called him Dion. What guy an unreal dumped move. that ice water on Tim McCarver. He, he must have been having a bad day. Sometimes I try to think about what's going on before those issues because there's many times that there has to be things that have ha happened prior in the day to get a person that mad. Who are you? Was that the only coach you had in the NHL? You must have had a bunch, no? Pardon? And was that the only coach you had? No, I had uh, Michelle Terrian, who oh, he hated me. He hated me. Why? And uh, he's just like not a fan of my game. I wasn't physical. He liked guys who But he liked tough. you as a person, I'm saying. Uh, I think he did like me as a person, but then he started hating me. Okay. Um, Michelle Terrian, we called him Mike. Okay. Um, or Michelle, whatever. And then I had, then I got traded to Anaheim, Randy Carlisle. He hated my guts. Mm -hmm. uh, then I got traded to Edmonton. It was Tom Rennie. He liked me. Then Ralph Kruger came in. He liked me. And then Florida, Kevin Deneen. He didn't like me. He went to the minors. So I had a bunch of different guys. I was a suitcase. Did you like playing in uh, Anaheim or no? Uh, Did you we, live in Anaheim? I lived in... Uh, Newport Beach. That's where oh, most that's of the a, guys live. It's that's awesome. A good spot. It was kind of a hike to the rink, but Route it was 55. Oh, sick. And I think it's funny. Like I, our team wasn't great and it, it's awesome living there, but I, I, I like going to the rink in cold weather. I think growing up here was just a little odd. If you live there and got used to it and were playing well, no doubt guys love it. You're wearing sandals. For me, I just never. So you liked Edmonton better than Anna? No, that's, no? That's, no. That, that was worded incorrectly <laughs> to make it come off that way. But I just didn't, the fan base isn't great in Anaheim. The rink's like dark. I just wasn't a huge fan. I think playing for the Kings would be a lot better than for the Ducks. They play, they play at uh, which one call it? Honda Center. I don't know if it's still called that. Yeah, what was it called in two? I forget. The I Pond. Saw, yeah, I saw Springsteen there. Did you? I did. Oh yeah, you lived out there. Yeah. So, and we, we what, what was that? Dave? That's my wife. Why is she calling the show? I don't know. The Bluetooth was connected. I didn't know it was up. Doesn't she know you're working? She's like, yeah. go to the grocery oh, she store. Actually, I, didn't tell, I didn't tell her it was producer. Uh, different, different time. You didn't, oh, you didn't tell her? No. Oh, she's like, where are you? Oh, I'm working one of my 19 jobs. <laughs> so, so Dave, do you know this or not? I, 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 I don't know if I encourage you or not. Did I, did I talk, I, maybe I talked to Jerry about this when you guys were hiring um, like a videographer. Or so, I, I, what, yes, what yes, was the job? Yes. Is that right? Yep. So uh, we said, you know, Dave should apply for it. Dave was like, no, I'm too good for that, basically. That is not what I said at That's all. That's what Jerry told me. No, yeah. What did you say? That is not. What I said, you say? Why did you apply I said for I'm job? not a videographer. 
I know. I heard what they said, what they needed, and I'm not that person. But if you I, wanted to be a part of Chicklets that bad, Frankie Borelli didn't know anything about video when he told Davey could. You would have. You would have learned. Yeah, it's not that hard. I can't remember who got, who got the job. That's actually a good take, actually. Yeah, who got the job? Um, we hired one kid. It kind of didn't work out, and then now we have a kid, Sean. He's great, doing an awesome job. Former baseball player. Yeah, is it decent money. I have no idea what they you make. Don't know. I so no who idea. hires him, Mike? I think Biz and Mike end up doing doing most of the hiring. We we hired a a Pink Whitney um, social media rep. This girl, she's doing an awesome job, and and Biz and Gaz and Grinelli did that. Oh, they do. They're in charge. Of that. Yeah, yeah, Pink Whitney is insane. Yeah, it's nuts. Fucking it's nuts. crazy. It's crazy. I should start drinking. Oh yeah, we'll get you drinking. That'll go well. Yeah, <laughs> you never know. It will go great. great. The shows will be unbelievable. It'll just be post show. <laughs> be about fifty minutes. I'll pass. Somebody out. calls you Kirk and you stab him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's it, you. You. It's all over the place. Yeah, it's it's just it's the most like. You, it doesn't make any sense. How does the deal work? I think I asked you last time. Um, we get paid, like Barstool gets paid based on cases sold and all that. And then there's right. an agreement between like me and Barstool. And so it's good. It's, yeah, it's very, okay. very, very fair. How much time you have left in your current contract? Um, no, we're no, we're good for oh, three, you, three and a half more years. Oh, you got a ways to go. Yeah, three and a half more. End of whatever. What's 25, 25, 25? End of 25. Can, I, I think I'll make it. I have to make it. But after that, I'm... I'm. You're done. Actually, I shouldn't say after you'll that keep, I'm done. I will be done. I will be kind of off the internet, though, at some point. Why do you say this? I don't know. I just think like... As a, I mean, there's no upside as my to it. Yeah, as my kids get older, it's just like I've said so many stupid things, which I'm not like... I don't care about like what's said in the past. I don't worry, but it's like, I don't know. When Ryder... I'll be done with this deal. Ryder will be like seven... I don't know. It'll just be time where I'm like, he's going to see me like dropping F-bombs and talking about the most ridiculous hard. shit. It's just it's hard. My daughter's 14. She, I mean, she sees it. Yeah. She knows it. Her yeah. friends will be like, your dad's, my dad. I know. And you're like, oh, uh, yeah. And also, I just, I just, I, I really have tried to work on like just not being on my phone. I, I, it's no doubt. Like you get on Twitter. It's an addicting thing. They make it that way for a reason. And I fucking hate when I'm sitting there like on the phone. Like there's been times like dad, dad. And like my wife says, he just said your name three times and <laughs> right. you're on your phone. It's like that makes me like sick to my stomach. So wait, wait, I mean, when you're at Space Jam 2, are you on the phone the whole time or no? Uh, I was watching and then he like, you know, once he's really into it and I'm not, I was checking the phone a little yeah. bit. Yeah, those, those but you can't be. But moved. I'll be on my phone sometimes like watching like swings online. Like I'm not like always right. on Twitter, but it's just being on the phone. The tough thing is when I'm done with this, like it'll be hard. You know, you just get off your phone and maybe live a little bit more in the present. Right. But you could retire. Oh, I could retire, but I like what we do. And I, I, I need to have a job. I need to be doing something. My wife would lose her mind. No golf. She's like, I need him to be playing golf more than he needs to be playing golf. But right if he now. retires, is there a chance you would move somewhere warm full time or no? I've always wondered that. I don't think so. My family's here. My, one of my brothers lives in San Fran, but may, definitely in the future, um, I plan on not being here when it's cold. But, yeah. but I mean, I don't know. Until your kids are a little older, you can't just. Nah, you're fucked. You're fucked. Fucked. And you're. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. You no, can shoot true. down. Maybe I can shoot down, play golf a couple of days. But in terms of like, yeah, we're going to be grinding out January, February, March here for fucking 15 years. Yeah. It sucks. This yeah. place sucks. What do you this mean? is this is, is one your, of the worst states in the country to live. Because of political reasons? No, just like weather sucks. The weather always sucks. The what? summer sucks. The winter sucks. Oh, the weather's so, the, you, have, you have about three good weeks a year. Yeah, it's September. Right. October's not. October yeah. can be okay. Yeah. But for me, yeah, for me, like this, this today's all right. But the summer blows. Oh, I have fucking pollen for like six weeks. <laughs> Then the winter comes, it sucks. It's dark at like 3.30. And then you're fucking, I mean, you know, when you get your first real cold day, you're like, this is the next fucking six months. Yeah. And this is I, it. Like, this is it. And and listen, I'm not trying to say I'm like the happiest, most friendly person, but like sometimes here it's like Biz came and he was talking about moving here. It would be good for the show. And he came uh, for one of the things we did during the Bruins playoffs. And he's like in Starbucks. He's like, how you doing? And people are like. Get the fuck away from me. And, and <laughs> right. he was just like, people are so miserable. I'm like, yeah, dude, this is like why I am the way I am. Yeah, he seems like a very upbeat guy. Oh, he's the most upbeat, like positive. He has moments when he snaps. But most of the time, like he's walking in stores and he's like, hey, man, how you doing? And just oh, in Arizona, God. I think people are. Right. And here, like, you're just like, get the fuck away from right. me, dude. But like you said, in the Midwest, that's the same way. It's just a yeah. different, like, it's a different you Go mentality. to Starbucks, takes 20 minutes, nobody cares. I'm <laughs> like, where's my latte? <laughs> right, it's true. I wish I wasn't like that, but I know, I know, I, but I I know. know I'm going to be. But if I grew up, you're right. If I grew up in, uh, you know, Sausalito, I'd be different. But we wouldn't be doing this. That's true. This but makes, this but makes maybe sense. we'd be happier, though. I don't know. 
I'd probably be like happier, but like miserable instead of like miserable, but happy. Do you know what I'm saying? I guess. Are, your fa- are both of your folks still alive? Yes. Oh, my mom and dad, Dan and Sue. No, awesome. No, they no, live in situate still. Good yeah, for you. Sorry about your parents dying, man. You never mentioned that before. I think one time I said sorry to you. You don't fucking say sorry to me. You didn't say it early enough. <laughs> well, I don't think that's true. You gave me the, like the trendy treatment when she didn't go to your parents' funeral. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Uh, but Grinelli, like- Grinelli told me she's one of the worst people. He said he worked for her. She, call- she wouldn't say his name. He, he like... Grinelli said the worst things about really? that girl. He hated her. Really? He said she was the biggest big timer he's ever worked with. Wow. Now, see, that that for, that goes back to the Dion thing, where I'm like, well, she was never like that with me, but I guess she wouldn't. Well, be. you're Kirk Minahan. Right. I guess she wouldn't. Imagine be. what she would do to Justin. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I did the bunch read of, that sentence again, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I did TV with her. She seemed all right. I don't know. Where I did, don't know her. Grinelli just told where me. Did that he work with her? Uh, he had to fill in a couple On weekend, weekend producer roles at uh, Intercom or. Uh, yeah, I think. Really? No, it might have been um, TV. Might have been TV. Yeah. Might have been TV. Huh. And he likes living in New York? His girlfriend's from like Jersey or right around there. So yeah, he does. He, yeah, we talked when Biz was like, I'm going to move to Boston. I knew it would never work because he wouldn't like it here. But he was saying it and, you know, he kind of leads the show. And Grinelli was like adamant about not wanting to leave New York. So he does like it. Really? I know. I'm surprised. I don't know anybody. Who, I can't imagine. I don't know. Oh, dude. I mean, it's the fucking I'd, worst I'd, place on earth. I'd quit before living there. I oh, hate it. They could offer me fifty million. I would say. honestly, I, hate it. I would say no. Fifty, dude. No, I wouldn't do it. Fifty. Well, what's the if you for have how money, long? Let's say five years. No, that's five years. Fifty sheets for five years. You, you wouldn't live you have there. To live in the city. So you wouldn't make it though. So yeah, I no, guess it's no. A moot I jump point. off the top of a building. Like I just, it's just, it's not worth it. If you have yep. enough money, like I don't know, what's it's, does it really matter? Yeah. Yep. I mean, you've got more. You've got fucking. You got fifty million now. No. Yes. Not even, Pink Whitney, not yes. You were close. telling me earlier, yes. Very not close. even fucking close. Very is, Dave, close. I forgot. That's what he does to you. Very he tries close. doing it to me, too. I know. Very but close. But most of the time, he's telling the truth about you because you just won't stick by your guns to an <laughs> argument. What club do you belong to? I play at Walston and Milton. Some issues going on there. We're trying to change the uh, maybe the culture a little bit. Oh, it's um, time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're just, you know, we're, there's a lot of young bucks there now. I try to change it a little bit. Are you okay with that? Um, oh, I love it. What I do you mean the it. culture? You mean well, racially? Like, or? No, 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 not not okay. whatsoever. Don't try to go there. I don't, talk, I don't know what you're we're saying. We're just talking about, you know, as, as clubs get a little bit older and young blood comes in, right. you know, sometimes you want to change it. So sure. that place is great. We're, we're doing things there. I play at Old Sandwich in Plymouth. That's the best place in the world. Okay. No doubt. Uh-huh. And um, TPC Boston. You are you belong there? Yeah. Oh, so you're Actually, a member of all these courses? So I played at I mean, Wallace, Dave, This Wallace, guy is worth 30, Wallace, 30, 30 crazy money. 30 million. Wallace crazy money. and OS. And right. then my father-in-law, Dave, is a member at TPC. We went out to dinner and he's like, my wife doesn't golf, but he said, hey, any of my kids can join uh, TPC Five grand a year till they're 40, and my wife's 30. I said, that's a no brainer. What? Yeah. That's a steal. I know. So I was like, you yeah. get all the privileges or no? Yeah, all of them. And I'm not, and she's like the member, but I can play any day, any time. Really? Any tournament. Yeah, it's great. Great huh. deal. I like that course a lot too. It's so fun. do I. It's, not, it's amazing. Like, you know, I, I when I play it, you know, it's, you play it, and you're like, this is a pretty tough course. And then like, I know, Dustin dude. Johnson shot 30 under there a couple of years ago. It's 30 a, under. It, I, I think Harris English shot 26 under right. in second place. Yeah. It's like, well, what? Uh, what sport know, am I playing? Yeah, I mean these holes are not easy. This is that's an easy tour course. I, I think I might have said this the last time I was on the show, but high end elite level PGA tour golfers are better at their sport than any other athlete is at their sport in the world. They're better at golf than LeBron is at basketball, than Crosby is at hockey. So you're they, saying the difference between like I uh, think a scratch golfer would go to a tour event and look oh, way more ridiculous oh, yeah, yeah. than a really good men's league hockey player in an NHL game. Right. I remember there's a tweet. I was actually, when it, it was the day after I was at the Masters, and somebody tweeted Ricky Fowler, what would an eight handicap shoot if you gave him a birdie putt on the middle of every green there? I think he said like 95. <laughs> just like yeah. Trent putting. Yeah, yeah, and it's true. I mean, going there. But yeah, yeah, that's that might be true. I'm just, I'm trying to think of like, They're yeah. just so good. Like, I, I know, you know, I went to the Mass AM final, and it was this kid from uh, Stanford, Stud. He'll probably be on tour versus uh, Matt Parziali. He's a local kid. Who was, was in the Masters five, a couple of years played ago. Played in the Masters, right. played low AM at the U.S. Open. They right. were they were um, combined through 30 holes. Oh, I saw you tweet this. 28 right? under. So it's just like world-class golf. No bogeys. Wait a they were 28 under combined through 30 holes? Yeah. What did they shoot for the first 18? So the first 18, Parziali shot 67 and was seven down. The other kid shot 62. Oh, he shot 62. Okay. So this is at Brayburn. Right. It's yeah, like yeah. not that easy. Of course. And then you look and it's like 
Thor, Thor Bornson could play on the tour. Parziali tried to be a pro. He got back to an AM, and it's like, these guys can't make it. This right. kid can't make it. And then the fucking, it's just a nuts sport. Yeah, Crazy. you see these guys. God, what's his name? Jerry's played with him a few times. Rob Oppenheim. Oh, he's the he's man. Andover. Good he buddies with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, he's obviously, if you play with him, you'd be like, this guy is out of this world. And he's trying to and every make a living year. on the Corn Ferry Tour. And he misses by like. No, he's on the tour. But, but he's but he's every year grinding to keep his yeah, card. Yeah, 125. And you see him and you're kind of like, Jesus Christ. Like, yeah, that's wild. That's yeah. actually, that's I haven't thought about that. It's actually pretty interesting. I played with him in Orlando. So, you know, six, seven, easy six, seven under. And you're like, this guy's like grinding to keep his tour card but like it's what's the nuts. difference between him and like if you watched if i watched him play for 72 holes and watch victor hovland play would i even tell the difference yeah just distance i think yeah i don't oppenheim oppenheim's hitting it three 300 yards yeah, but everybody does now but they're hitting it th these guys are hitting it 340 right. it's 300 like, is not long now no there. it's like no it's like barely average it's just nuts. it's a joke a that joke gets, that's what's killing me i have no distance off the tee and i'm then, like trent but i can't fucking hit it yeah, if you hit no, it straight no enough, speed. I know, but I've no, I generate no club head speed off the tee. Dude, get those wrists work and get back onto the videos that I you, need, yeah, you wore out. True. If I was twelve, I was probably fucking hitting it like. <laughs> would have been like back I'm in like his crank in the days. He was Watson. sending it three thirty over trees. Jeez, They're I like, "You're twelve years old. What is going on?" I jerk off both hands. You know, the wildest part of that is like back then, I would just fucking put the pajamas back up. Just go to bed. Oh, yeah. Just wake up like my poor mom. But a fucking like just fucking crust them off and just put my school pants on. And she's like, did you have syrup on your pajamas? <laughs> no. Did you put did you dump oatmeal on your pants last night? Oh, but fucking Harry's shit. nine now. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Like this is four years away. I know, but it's. It's not going to be, you know, I don't know. I know. It's just like weird because you, you're not going to like talk about it, but you'll just know he's in the shower 30 minutes. You're like, Harry! Right, right, right. Jesus Christ. Well, I don't know. Like, so my parents, I don't know. Did Dan and Sue ever have to talk with you at all? I never had. I never got a, a sex You have an older brother or no? I have two younger brothers. Oh, okay. Uh, funny enough, um, this is a little off topic, but I just. That's fine. My father got one letter. No, two letters sent from his father to him at school. He went to Holy Cross. Yeah. One letter was at the end, like, very proud of you, congrats. Right. And the other letter was a cutout article uh, from the Boston Globe. And it, the, the article title was, uh, Father Kills Son Over Taking Too Long a Shower. Because <laughs> oh, really? I growing, cause I'm growing up, he's right. like, ah, oh, fucking right. shower. Right, 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 right. Yeah, my parents. I don't like. Am I gonna have these? I don't think so. I mean, should I? Should we? I don't. I don't think at this point, dude. Harry already knows everything. It's probably is, true. Is there, are your kids on like TikTok and stuff? Uh, I know Kate like is talking with her friends. Harry doesn't. But do, do you that. do you guys watch over what yeah, she's doing on her can, phone? The best you can, you know. But can't you? Yeah, yes, I know. but she's fourteen. Like it's, they're fucking six steps ahead. I know. I know. It's like you think exactly. Yeah, it's, like, like, I, it's like Carabas on the steroids. <laughs> correct. Yes, he's just six steps ahead. You can't test him. No, but he's definitely, that's indisputable. Juice head. No question. No doubt. The stories you, I hear about the school bus these days are some of the most fucked up shit I've ever heard. Like kids and what they know and what's going on back there is not The hell nice. school buses are you hanging out with? I just, who, listen, who, I said the same who, thing. Who are your sources? Who's I, on the school bus Who's your school you bus these? source? No, like parents are talking about the stories of kids on I've the school bus. I've never seen a parent bus. on a school bus ever. No, no I'm riding with their kids. No, but yeah, their, kid is, their kid is saying, I saw this on the school bus today. No, it's not they, pretty. Hey, the school bus driver also works at the supermarket he goes to every day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, school bus driver. Hey, man, don't call me Dave. <laughs> call me producer. Uh, Milton's uh, uh, store for men's summer sale still going on right now. Milton's.com. Uh, the original sponsor of me, not just KMS. Uh, Social Plaza Braintree. Ryan, not far from you. Right? Yep, not bad at all. Yeah. Chestnut Hill Square, Chestnut Hill, or online at Milton's.com. Getting married, attending a wedding. Buy one, get one suit. Uh, get one free suit event going on as we speak. Uh, again, Social Plaza Braintree, Chestnut Hill Square, Chestnut Hill, or online at Milton's.com. Thanks to Milton's again this week. All right, we'll let you go, Wendy. I know you're busy. Yeah, guys, uh, I'm down to do this whenever, so we'll get it going well, a little bit more busy. often. Well, we know you're busy. We'll let, let's try to do... Um, I'm happy to do it up, up in your not neck. Not eight months. Too. Let's try to do once every uh, once a, 50 to 60 days. Well, once a quarter, how's that? As we say in the business, every three months. All right, four times a year? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm down to busy. do more. We're we'll, to, we'll figure it out. I like this we're, shit. We're happy to, 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 to accommodate you with whatever's easier as well. Uh, Justin, thanks for being so... Uh, Helpful. What did you want from? What did you expect him to and do? And Dave, uh, good microphone and good arguments and uh, pussy. Stay hot, dude. And you're gonna, we, we should play. Well, you're, uh, when you're feeling better, maybe we'll play golf this summer at some point. Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start playing. Let's tee it up. What are you what? laughing at? Dude? I just can't believe you're gonna play golf together. Not the kid who actually donated the money for charity. You're not gonna invite him. He's a loser. Correct. He's not invited. It's and neither are you. No. Yeah, I mean, why would I invite you? I All did. Right, I did pitch. Hi, uh, I pitched you. you that golf yeah. show. He'd be a good guest for that idea.
Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Why? It's like enough that. about me, but playing golf. See you, Dave. See ya. All right, buddy. I'll talk to you. Thanks, Ryan. See you, Justin. Thank you. There you go. The great Ryan Whitney. There you go. Joins us. Usual madness with him. Anything else before we wrap up this week? Uh, fucking... Nothing crazy. I didn't know if you saw. I was. Remember, I said. Uh, Send well, Jerry that audio, by the way. He wants I will. To hear it. Okay, I will. Does it, do, do you think it would annoy Portnoy? When, uh, actually, he did tweet about it. But somebody at Barstool joining Cameo, like literally 24 hours after being hired, they joined Cameo. Did you see this? Uh, I get this. They're, they're, they hired two new girls for betting, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, one of them joined Cameo, correct? Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. how pissed would you be if I took this job and then I joined Cameo? Wait, I'd fire you. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking ridiculous. I would be furious if I was Portnoy. But didn't she do it as like a bid or something? I was confused. Uh, I, don't I thought, think I thought so. these guys weren't allowed to join Cameo. No, they're all on Cameo. Oh, are they? Justin was checking it out this morning. Aren't they all? Like, a lot that of them That was the thing with Cameo? Kevin where he was yes. like, they won't let me. He got in like a thing because he was on Cameo and Dave gave him shit, I guess. He gave us shit until he found out we were doing it for. Uh, uh, Charity, right? I think we're doing it for Mancock, right, Justin? Is it for Mancock? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was for charity. I would never do it, ever do it, like, under any, like, for real. Yeah, but even, I don't, I just didn't. But I, so, I, I don't know, I, but I mean, it's also, like, it's another revenue. Yeah, but if you're Dave, right, you were just talking, about, that's why I brought it up, you're talking about retiring, you have to build these people up who don't have their own followings, Correct. basically. Well, and then they try had, to I'm sure they had them it. before, but, like, to me, you better be doing a good fucking job. Yeah. If you're going to join Cameo a week after you join the company, you better be doing fucking helping the company out. No, her position's hard because I guess she, like, she's on the gambling side, so she's making picks. And he's judging her by the picks, which that yeah, can't be like, an easy but situation. He's not real. You think he, he, no, he no, I don't. He doesn't fucking care what her No, but it was just is. bad timing to join Cameo while yeah. she's making bad picks. Yeah. Justin, you can join Cameo if you'd like. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, boy. You can join. Are you going to do it? Of course. All right, good. How much are you going to charge? 15. Uh, yeah, let's say 15. Fifteen bucks, okay, that's you fine. Cut? Huh? No, no, it's all yours. You it's sure? all it's all your money. Justin, oh. you're welcome to join Cameo. Oh. Colin, if you join it, you're fired. I'm not going to join it. Okay, I would I'm never. Still. It's I forget. I think I charge a reasonable rate too. It's like fifty bucks or something. That's reasonable. That's I what KFC for, charges. I did it for three days. We did it for charity. We got I got like fifty submissions, and I was so exhausted when it was done. I think Mike did it for a while too. Yep, right? but Is that was right? also because you weren't paying him. It was a way to pay him. Like the fans were helping pay him. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Not all right. Idea. All right. So we're back Monday regular time. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Am I missing anything else or no? Uh, nope. We'll do the wrap-up show today. Okay. And that'll be out there tonight. All right. We'll talk to you Monday.